have a seat there. So I just want to make sure I have your name spelled correctly and your information. All right, spell your first name for me. Uh, first name is Fidel, F-I-D-E-L. Okay. And your last name? Lopez. L O P E C. Excellent. Okay. And you're 26 years old? No, 24. 24? Yeah. And your date of birth? Uh, March, uh, March 28, 1991. Um. All right, uh, we're going to talk about what happened tonight, all right? Uh, we're going to go everything in detail, obviously. Uh, what I want to do is go over your rights waiver form. Um, this is your rights. I'm going to read you each thing. Uh, you're going to answer. I'm going to have you sign, and then uh, we'll take a seat. Yeah, I don't know how to read in English. So it's read in I'll read it. You understand English, though, correct? Yeah, I do. Okay, and um, what... what I'm sorry, do you want to read Spanish for me? No. Uh, what, um, where'd you go to school? I went to Nova High School. Um, did you graduate? No, I did not. What year did you go to? Uh, I went uh, to um, 10th grade. 10th grade? Okay. And uh, you have a job? I have a job. Where do you work? I work on um, 595 drop stop right. as a mechanic. Mechanic? How long have you done that? Uh, I just started there, like, uh, I've been there for a month already. A month? Mm -hmm. Okay. And. Um, have you lived in the United States? When did you move here? Where are you from? To the United States. I'm from Cuba. From Cuba? When did you move here? Um, to the United States, um, 2007. 2007? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you understand English, but you can read Spanish? Uh, yeah, I understand English. You know, speak it a little bit. Uh, but, you know, okay, so what I do, I'm going to get, I'm going to read this to you in English, mm -hmm. and I have a Spanish form that I'll also have you sign. Okay, All right, just cool. so you understand, I just want to, you know, um, you came here today voluntarily to provide a statement about what happened last night? Yeah. Okay. Um, no threats or promises have been made to you? We've been... No, 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 I just came here. I just yeah, want to find out what this is she's dead, I just, what, what happened to her. Okay. Just, and that's what we want to do, too. What, that's what we want to know. All right. Um, so, we're going to, we're going to talk about that. But like I said, let's first go over your form, and then we'll we'll go on from there. Okay. So print your name here on the top. Over here. Yep. Print your name right there. Okay. Just hold the pen. This says, "Do you understand that I'm a police officer? Do you understand that?" Yes. Okay. Then you write yes, and just put your initials next to it. Initials. Yeah. Just. This line right here says you have the right to remain silent and refuse to answer any questions. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Do you understand? You have the right to speak to an attorney before speaking to the police or to have an attorney present during questioning now or in the future. Do you understand? If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for, for you before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. If you decide to answer questions now without an attorney present, you will you will still have the right to stop and answer at any to have the right to stop answering at any time and speak to an attorney. Do you understand? Have you previously requested any of the law enforcement officers you've been in contact with today to speak to an attorney? No. Uh, what do you mean? Have you, have you asked any officers today to speak to an attorney? No, no, no. Okay. And no? 
But I'm not sure. Is there a play here now? Yep. Knowing and understanding your rights, as I have explained them to you, are you willing to answer my questions without an attorney present? No. Okay. Get on this line right there. Print your name there. I'm just going to read this to you, okay? All right. Um, I, Fidel Lopez, have read this statement of my rights or have had it read to me, which I have, okay? And I understand my, what my rights are. I am willing to make a statement and answer questions. I do not wish an attorney at this time. No threats or promises have been made to me. No pressure of any kind has been used against me, nor have I tricked been tricked or fooled into giving this statement. I understand and know what I am doing. I further understand that this statement may be used against me in a court of law. I have not previously requested any law enforcement officer to allow me to speak to an attorney. Do you understand everything that I just read to you? Yes. Okay, sign your name here. And today's date is... Uh, uh, yes, correct. Um, so let's start with, who do you live with over at the uh, Colonnades? Is it the Colonnades or it's uh, the Colonnades? colonnades. Yeah. Who do you live with there? Uh, I live with her, with Maria Nemeth. Okay, Maria, what's Maria's last name? Maria Nemeth. Ma do you, can you spell that? Uh, Nemeth is uh, M-E-M-E-T-H. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. How long have you guys been together? We've been together for about a year and year and two months, almost. You know. Okay. And how long have you been in the apartment over here in Sunrise? Are we here? About a, six days, like a week. A week. Yeah. Okay. Um, where did you live prior to that? Uh, uh, before, uh, before. Where did you live before you lived in the apartment? Hialeah. Hialeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you um, live together in Hialeah? Yeah, we lived together in Hialeah. We, we, we also were, were living on Hollywood Beach. Then we moved to Hialeah for a month. Then we came here. Okay, so Hollywood Beach. Hollywood Beach. Hialeah. Hialeah. Sunrise. And Sunrise. And each time you lived together, you and yeah, Maria? Yeah, and her. Okay. Um, who did you live with in Hialeah? I, I mean, with, with her, Maria, but who did? Who else did you live? In my house, uh, in the big house, it was me, my brother, my mother, and her. Okay. Before, so all your family. Yeah, all family. And where, where's her family at? Uh, uh, her family, the, she has family in Hialeah also. Okay. Uh, her dad is uh, living in Pompano. Pompano. Uh huh. And her mother and sister is yeah, they're in Peru. Okay. So how? Um, is she in contact with her mom and her, her dad? Yeah, she, she was, you know, like by Facebook, and, you know, things like that. She, she don't have a phone. We, we're about to buy a phone. But I mean, do they, they see each other often or they have a good relationship? Um, her and um, the aunts, you know, because the aunts don't like her because she was drinking too much, like, like I was telling you, like, and... You know, but besides that, her her mother and things like that, they, they always, you know, see we share the share with cameras and things like that. Yeah. Like WhatsApp and applications like that, so. Okay. But, they, you know, they're, they're cool. I mean, so she she works at the complex? She works at the complex. What, how long has she worked there? Uh, to be honest with you, I believe it's like around, like about five, six years. You know what she does there? Uh, yeah, she's a system manager. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, she passed the checks. Uh, she works apartments, see the damage and things like that. Reporter. Okay. That, uh, that's at the college where you live. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, you guys have been together for over a year. Uh, exclusive. You guys, boyfriend girlfriend, no other. No. Has no. she ever been married before? Yeah, she was. She was. How long? How long was that? Uh, she was married for eight years. Eight years. Have any again. children? No. Okay. Have, any children. have you ever been married before? No. You have any children? I do. You do? How many? I have two. Two? Mm -hmm. uh, boy or girl? Two boys. Two boys? How old are they? 
One of them is a year and a half, and the other one's almost two years. You're not serious. I mean, one of them is a year and, and like one month, and yeah. the other one's almost two years. I just have them one next to the other. So okay. Like, Where do they live? Uh, they live with the mother. Um, that's a university, and I don't forget the I forget the road, so it's just it's, it's close by. Yeah. So your one son was born right when you kind of right when you got together with Maria. Uh, exactly. Yeah. The the last one is uh we just met at the you know right like right up at the same almost the same. So moment. you you lived together with her the the mother of your children did you? Yeah, I was living and together you guys with separate. her. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't living with Maria, but I met her. I mean, okay. you know, yeah. I met Maria. You know, we met up and we always hang up or you know go to clubs and things like that. Yeah. And then we decided to, you know, to, you know, to make something formal and something serious. So, okay. How did you get? How did you guys meet? Uh, we met in a club. I mean, I was just, uh, you know, trying to buy a pizza. And she was in the parking lot with the car, and you know, it just met out, outside of the club. Uh, cool. And something. Where do you guys usually go out? Uh, we we don't go out no more. In the beginning, we used to go out every club. So. Okay. Uh, but that's for the first month, and after that, then when we decide to be together and you know make things a little bit more serious, then we uh, we just go to movies or we go to just uh, chilies, things like that. You know, nothing of what clubs and yeah. So you more settled down now. Uh, yeah, when movies, dinner. Yeah, you know, so, you know something the, normal, the something that. You know, out of the bad life, you know, okay. you know what I mean? Because clubs and chill like always bring you bad things. Yeah. So. And you guys just socially drink or? Uh, yeah, man, we, we like to drink. Yeah. I mean, I don't consider myself like, as an alcoholic, but I like to drink. I like to have my beer once in a while. And, you know, when we move here, the all this day we've been drinking, you no, know, like, like like a lot, like uh, every day, it's because I have to go to work. Yeah. But when I come back from my work, I would drink Coca Bills. Okay. You know. So what about Maria? And Maria, the same thing. She she don't drink unless I, unless I drink. You know. So she, it's she was a she likes to drink, but she knows I get mad if she drinks by herself because I know she get like a little crazy when she drink. Okay. So, but um, since uh, since I'm off today, yesterday I told her, hey, you know, let's go to Chili's. We buy some, you know, margaritas, mm -hmm. and then after that we go to the uh, a ABC or something like that. It's a liquor store, right? Yeah. Close yeah. There. So let's go. So let's start today. You're you worked. Today's Sunday. Today's Sunday. Yesterday was Saturday. Did you, did you work Saturday? Yeah, I worked Saturday. Okay. What time did you get off? I get off around. Around 4.20. Around 4.20? Exactly. I have, the, I have my that, papers and my receipts. So and what about her? Or what time is she? And she went She went to work also. She went to work yesterday. And she she don't work weekends, but she went uh, to the office yeah. uh, for a couple hours, two hours. Okay. So today All right. So um, you get off work and you come home to the apartment or you go somewhere else? No. I went straight to the apartment, uh, take a shower. And then um, uh, she, she was cooking dinner, it was ready made. And what did you guys eat? At, at the house. Yeah, what did you eat? What did, what did you guys uh, have? We, uh, she made chicken, mm -hmm. chicken, um, and uh, beans and rice. Okay. So we just eat and we went to Miami um, uh, to see my mother. Around what time was that? It mm. was around 7 o'clock. Seven o'clock. Six thirty to seven, seven forty, something like that. Okay. Then when we get out of, from Hialeah, we, we just we just went straight to the to the to Chili's, right next to the apartment. Okay. So you went to Chili's before going back home. Exactly. Okay. All right. Exactly. And you got the Chili's around what time? Oh, we get to Chili's around like eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, eight fifteen. Something like that. I'm, I'm not pretty sure, but it's, it was just something like that. Okay. And then, how long did you stay there for? We stayed there for like an hour, an hour and fifteen minutes, an hour and twenty minutes. Okay. We only drink. Uh, she drink one uh, one margarita. I drink two margaritas. Actually, we drink uh, 
one and a half each of us. So, okay. Know, because the other one we, it was split. Uh, Sharon. Uh, yeah, we shared. Was anybody else with you? No, no. just me and her. Okay. And oh. the bartender. We went just straight to the bar. We we were on the table, nothing like that. What just, and who? Uh, you have a car. A, a, a car. Do you have? You drive. I drive, but uh, I'm using her car. Using her car. Yeah. Okay. What so kind of car does she have? She have a Scion TC 2009. A what? Scion TC. Scion. Scion. Oh, Scion. Scion. Okay. Scion. All right. Um, so you use her car when you have to go to work or when yeah, you have to go to work? Yeah, you know, she would just walk to the office and she don't need to use the car, so then I'm using the car to go to my job. And, yeah, you know. absolutely. Okay, so you guys go get the chilies, have uh, margarita, then where do you guys go? Um, and we went to the liquor store, to ABC, right in front of uh, the Sargas Mall, the side. And, uh, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. And then we buy a bottle of um, um, 18, 1800 or something like that. Okay. I, I, I never drink that before, so. That's tequila? Yeah, that's tequila, okay. it's tequila, so. All right. We buy that, we went to the house. Around what time did you get back to the house? Oh. I mean, you uh, you well, So it, it wasn't like not far away from, it wasn't not even 10 o'clock, I believe, so. So before 10? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Before time. Before time. Anybody at the house when you get back? No, sir. All right. Not at all. No one lives with you. Just you two live there together. Yeah, just me. You didn't have anybody uh, over. No one visiting. No, nobody. Nobody. Okay. nobody. Um, all right. So tell me about the night from when you get back to the house. Tell me what happened. Okay. Um, we get to the house. She was already like kind of tipsy from the margaritas and the chilies. Um. You know, we start to drink. Um, we put like two car cardboard, uh, you know, boxes on the floor. We put the lime on top, and you know, because we, we don't have furniture, so we're about to buy. Now when I get paid, we're about to buy furniture, TV, the, the TV, and things like that. You know. Okay. And so we put the two boxes on the floor in the li on the dinner room, and then we start to drink and talking and listen music, and. You know, we have a lot of shock of the of tequila. Then, and you know, you know, uh, in my in my position, me, I can handle it. You know, I can handle drinks. Because some, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, you go a little crazy. And she was she was a lot crazy. And so she was asking me for stuff that she never asked me for uh, for that before. So, like what? You know, like, you know, the thing with the arm and shit like that and. You know, I never done that shit to, uh, with nobody, especially with her. So. Uh, so what? Explain what, what kind of stuff was she asking? What do you mean with the arm? I mean, it's, first she she start talking like uh, something like you know like uh, I was uncomfortable with it. You know, like uh, one day I want you I want you to put a bottle on, on my pussy. You, you know. Sorry, I'm just talking right now with you guys. Yeah, yeah. You know, I want you, you to know, be you know, open and for respect her and. Absolutely, and you know, you're, and not dis you're not disrespecting her. You're just telling us what she told you, yeah. what she had, what I she know, wanted you to do. You know, it's no dis not disrespectful. Uh, you know, I'm a man. I'm I'm her man. So whatever she asks me, I do it. Okay. You know, whatever it is, I don't care what it is. Even if she want me to put my hand in her pussy, I put it. Okay. I put it. So she was telling me that, and then I don't I'm, I don't remember really uh, if I did it with the bottle too. Or if I no, because I really I was really really really. What, what kind of what kind of bottle are you talking about? It's a beer bottle. A beer bottle. Okay. All right. So she, what what did so what ended up happening? I know she was asking you to do these things. Yeah, she was happened? asking me all those stuff, and I, you know I was starting feeling like uncomfortable, like you know because she never asked for that, and I know she was tipsy, and, but um, when we were doing the stuff and. Of the things, uh, she told me she wanna throw up to get out of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So I get out of the bathroom, and I, you know I was outside, so I put it smoking a cigarette. I don't remember if the door was already break or something. I really don't know. I know I break it because she she don't, she is not strong enough to break it. What door are we talking about? The the, the glass door. I I, I, I just remember I see glass on the floor, man. I really don't remember when I break it. Or why did I break it? You know, to be honest with you, I really don't don't remember. 
Okay. The only thing I remember clearly is that I went to the bathroom and she was like not breathing. She was like like this. And I just wanna call 911. And where where was she? In she was like the between the toilet and the and the the shower thing. Like just honey like and I thought she was throwing in the, in the shower. I mean but uh, you know she wasn't. I mean, you thought she was throwing up. I thought she was throwing up, but you know I don't hear any noise, so I'm not the door. She announced it, and I'm getting straight to that she wasn't breathing. Uh, you know she was she was constant. She was talking to me. Yeah. You know, but you know one moment I get so so nervous and scared, and then I get the phone and call 911 because she was getting worse and worse, and you know. I don't know. Who's, and whose phone did you use to call 911? The 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 wife phone. I mean, I don't remember what I from. We were listening music with a phone and the Bluetooth. Okay. All right, uh, but I really don't 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 remember where I grabbed the phone for. I call 911 and then and then when I was gonna call 911 again, I didn't find the phone. I don't remember if she should take it or if she throw it or something. What I remember is that I put a battery in the phone. The battery? Yeah, the battery in the phone. I don't remember where really where I find it, but I put the battery in the phone and called 911 again. But when before I call, I went outside and I see you guys. So it's when I tell the police officers or whatever were there, like, come up, it's right here. Now when you called 911, was she, was she still breathing? No, man, she wasn't. She wasn't breathing. She wasn't. I was trying to give her CPR, man. I, I remember I was kissing her and put some air in her stomach. was like up and down, man. And then she wasn't breathing. I, mean, I don't know when somebody is dead or not because I've well, never seen the body before. Okay. I you mean, said um, when you first went into the bathroom and you saw her, she was breathing. She was breathing. She was conscious. Okay. All right. She was like. <gasps> and that's what I called 911. And where was she in the bathroom again? She was like in the toilet, between the toilet and the and the and the shower. The the, the okay. The is thing. is it a is it a shower or a bathtub? Uh, yeah, the a bath. So it's not it's just like a, a, like a like a jacuzzi. Like, okay, you know. so it's not a, just a stand up shower. No, if you want to no. take a bath, you can take a bath in it. Exactly, exactly. I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know how to say that. No, no, that's yeah, okay. Yeah. It's, it's okay. Like a, was she in the tub? No. I was, I was trying to put her there, but I couldn't lift her up. I, mean, I was strong, and I don't want her to hit her head or hit something or something. You right, know? right, sure. You know, and I, but the last thing I do is just put some cold water on her face. I open the shower, okay. and put some cold water on her face to see if she reacts. And I start, hey, baby, you okay? Baby, you okay? I start screaming like a motherfucker, and nobody here. You know, I don't know. Neighbors might be here, might be here, me scream. Okay. I was screaming for for help. Right. Is that what yeah. you were screaming? Is help? Yeah, I was screaming for help, man. Screaming anything else? No, man. I was just, baby, why you do this to me, baby? Wake up, baby. Help, help, help. Right. You know, because I don't know the address. Sure. I just call nine one one and tell them, hey, reach my number or something. I don't know how do you guys work. I mean, like, I know you guys have the system. You know where the call come from, but you right. know. So when you, you you say that you you dialed nine one the first time, and you're you're screaming okay. during that time. Okay, I was uh, uh, what? Were you screaming? You called nine one one the first time. I called nine one one the first time. Yep. Okay. Did you when actually I, speak to somebody? I speak to somebody. Okay. I All spoke right. to somebody, but uh, she was asking me, w "Where are you?" The address. You know, I was so nervous that I just took the phone. May I also want to throw the phone away and put it away then? Stop, baby, and scream at her because I was so nervous and I had I really don't have the patience to deal with the address that I don't know. Where yeah, I know my her. girl is dying right there, man. You know what it is? Uh, you know, and when I was gonna call for second time, that I find the phone, I went outside and I see the police and everything. Okay. You know, but it's that's that's what happened, man. Get fucking. Okay, so let's let's go in a little more detail about from when you guys start drinking and, and become sexually active to when she ends up in the bathroom. Okay. okay we need to talk about that time. Okay. okay. Um, what kind of 
sexual acts did you perform tonight? What did you guys do? What I can tell you, I didn't came. Okay. That's, that's one thing I can tell you for sure. For sure, I didn't came. Okay. Did you have intercourse? Did you put your penis inside of a vagina? Yeah. Okay, did yeah. you wear a condom? And no, I did. We didn't. We didn't even open the new box. We buy a, a box of condom today. I mean, yesterday, last night, we buy a new box of condom with the bottle. We buy the bottle, and then we went to the gas station. Okay. We buy the condoms. Okay. Now, now I got that. Okay. We buy the condoms, and then we went. You know, but I don't use any condom at all. I I don't even touch the the, the new pack. So okay. maybe it's still there. You, you can see if you you guys go to okay. picture, okay. you will okay. see okay. it. And then you know, she, she was you know I I was strong. She was strong. She was telling me for me to do stuff that I never done before with nobody, especially with her. Okay. And you know, I know it might be a little embarrassing. Or you might want to. But man, listen, I want you, you need to do. I want you to tell me what kind of things. Because you're saying she's asking you to do things, I want you to explain. She want me to put my, you know, my arm on her pussy, and you know, stuff like that. And you know, like a open minded European sex. I don't know. Okay, and what what type of things did you do? I know she's asking you. What did you actually? do? Everything she told me to do, I do it. Okay. Which is what? What did she ask you to do? I put my arm on her pussy. Uh, I put my dick on her pussy. I believe I got the bottle. It was a small bottle. It was like a beer bottle or something like that. And she wanted me to put there too. You know, I just tried to make her happy. Mm -hmm. Whatever. I understand. But she was concerned. She was not. She she wasn't like no cow or something like that. I would never do that to my girl. No okay. cow. You know, okay. that that's not me, man. That's not me. But once we're when we do the thing with the arm, that was the last thing. She, she was telling me, I need to throw up. I don't feel good. Or something like that. Where, where then, did this take place? Huh? Where was this when that happened? In the bathroom. You were in the bathroom. It was, we start we start from 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 the from the like I think we start in the in the in the closet. I don't remember pretty well, but we were in the closet too, man. You know Okay, so let's we go step by step. Time. You guys start and you said you had some boxes and you set up like a little area. Listen, and you're playing some music. I know we I know we have sets. I know I put my arm in there. I know I put a bottle. But to be honest with you, details, details, details like that, I cannot tell you, man. I was drunk just like her. Okay. I was drunk just like her. You know, I would love to tell you every details. You know, and I'm I'm doing my best right now. I understand. I understand. You know? We just want to make sure that we we have everything that occurred and happened, so that when we look at her, we can understand what what we got. Okay, that's all. And you know, what I know, last last thing it, when she told me get out of the bathroom, we were in the bathroom, okay. but I know we went to the closet too. I don't remember when or where. Uh, or how, but we went to the closet. We, we, we were all around and like... What, what, what was going on in the closet? Uh, same thing, sets, and uh, I believe the bottle thing it starts there or something like that. What what other kind of things did you put inside her vagina? Well, that's just the bottle, my arm, my dick. You know, that's it. That, that thing, you know, that's it. She was, she was crazy, man. And I was crazy too. When we walked we walk for drunk, I mean, like... You know, I like it, she likes it. Sure, there's nothing wrong with that. And when girls get drunk and I get drunk, I mean, like, uh, whatever well, comes Listen, you're talking to two grown men, we understand. Mm -hmm. You know how it is, man. Um, now, have you ever done anything like this before? No, man. Has she ever asked <laughs> to you to be do honest with like you? Before? No. No, that's what I was kind of surprised today. You know, that's what I was kind of, like, a little surprised today, because she never... We had to get drunk together. Okay. But she never asked for that. But today she she did it. I mean, I don't know because she drank too much. Okay, the first time I see her like drunk like this, yeah. I never see her like without breathing or things like that. I understand. You know? All right, tell me tell me about the argument. Tell me about any ish the argument when you got home tonight. Uh, when we got home tonight. Yeah, once you got home in in the apartment, talk about that. Like, what what was the what were you guys arguing about? 
No, but I mean, we, we were just talking and she was just telling me that thing. That one day I went to put bottle and, you know, I was feeling a little low, man, because, uh, you know, maybe I think that I don't, I'm not, I'm, I'm not a maker like, not you know, Exactly. Which is not true because I know I make a sacrifice, but, you know, I know she was wrong. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when somebody is wrong, says the truth. And we start arguing, but I tell her, hey, baby, come on, this, uh, you know, this, let's not fuck up this night tonight. Yeah. We're going to be okay. Then we'll listen to music, man. We're just drinking, drinking chocks. We were drinking two little cups like this, chocks and chocks and chocks. To be honest with you, I don't, I don't remember when the the glass broke or something like that, man. I really don't remember. So I know it's broke the, because I know I see glass in the floor. I understand. Away from so the, the argument was, she was, you were kind of upset. She was talking about your manhood. She, you thought that maybe. No, no, no. She not really. Was, I, you know, I was, I wasn't upset at all. I mean, I just feel a little like down but not upset because you know i know she was wrong and tipsy or whatever and i was doing the same yeah and you know me and her and you know before when we would drink i'm always you know not the violence with her but uh, you know i have to uh, my violence i have to hit with something else the wall the car or something okay you know i'm that i'm that kind of person you know not, not just with her just and uh, not drunk Sober, even when I'm sober, the same person. Never hit her, never touch a woman. You talked about the broken glass. Is there other things that you hit or broke tonight? You know, in my mind comes uh, the computer, comes the laptop. I, I believe is I see the laptop somewhere on the floor, like, like you know, the laptop is uh, you know the the the, the keyboard is uh, plug and unplugging. You know, okay. I see it in the floor somewhere. I don't know if I throw it or just go to the floor. What about doors or anything like that? There's some damage to the doors. I don't remember, man. Walls. Was there any damage in that house prior to tonight? No, in the house there was no, no damage at all. The house was completely uh, restored. Like, everything was clean. Clean and in order. No holes in the walls, no broken no doors. No holes in the wall. If you see holes in the wall, then I did that. Okay. Then I did that. All right. What about doors? Rip doors off the wall, like uh, closet doors. I don't know, man. I've so any damage that w occurred damage inside that apartment house, tonight? I did it. You did it tonight. I did it. Okay. I know it wasn't her. But was it? Well, I think what he's asking you is, was it last night, or was there damage prior no, no, to no, last no, night? No, 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 but no, before. No, no, no. Last night is when happened everything. Everything okay. happened last no, night. No, nothing house, prior to nothing, last night. Nothing, 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 nothing. The house was perfect, 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 clear. I you take the that. responsibility for every holes and everything broken there. I did it. I know I did it. She she never do that. Okay. I know and, I did and, it. And why did you do it? The, you know that's the problem. I don't know why, man. We were drinking. And I don't know why. That's that's the problem. I'm, I'm trying to make up in my mind why did I did that. Mm -hmm. When I do that, it's because I'm pissed. You okay. know. But I don't know what makes me pissed. Well, maybe she was talking about her her ex uh, husband or something uh, something like that because okay. we, we, that makes I sense know, you know i remember today that she was just mentioning him about something like what uh, i don't uh, she was mentioning the the uh, somebody from her family don't like him or something don't mention him like a, like a good thing, you know, just something like a bad thing, but it's still mentioning him. But I don't think that's a reason why I get mad. I get mad for something else. I don't remember whatever I break or whatever I do. You, do, you get, do you get upset when she brings up her husband or brings up past relationships? Uh, not really, man. You know, like, she never does that. She knows that. She never does that. I mean, like, she never talk about her. Is, she knows he's a motherfucker, I mean, between you and I. Yeah. Uh, she knows that he's not a good guy, so she never she never put him in conversation, things like that. No. So I never get mad because of that. Today she mentioned him but because of somebody of her family don't like him, that's all. So I don't get you know, mad because of that. 
I don't know why I break the door. I really, really, really want to make up in my mind and try to remember, but I'm a tinker. I don't think, you know, right now in my mind, the only thing I know is my girl's dead. Okay. Do the, how, do you, how do you, when you say she's dead, at one point in time, you said she was breathing um, when you found her in the bathroom. When do you think she passed away? Ah, really? When she told me to get out of the bar, she want to throw up. I think she was fine. I think she just want to throw up and be okay. But when I when I went to the bathroom, she was like not breathing, like <clears throat> some like 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 a heart attack or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I really I'm not a doctor. Yeah. And then is when I called the police. I mean, like really, really makes me really nervous. I never see her like that. One time, but you know, I just put on the, the bed, the baby, you know, and she relaxed, everything good. Okay. But this time was different, very different, because this time she drinks a lot. Yeah. Who put the, the you, the, there's a sink on. A what? There's a sink on in the bathroom. The sink, the bathroom sink? The water is running. The water is running. The water is running? In the sink, yeah. In the sink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The water in the sink is what's running. It was me. Okay, do you remember putting it on or why you put it on? No, nah, man, I really, I really don't know. I, I know I opened the, the shower and put, tried to put water on her face. That's, I remember I opened the shower. I don't know. Uh, the sink, maybe I did the same thing. I, I really don't know, man. I was really... Did you, did you put, try to put her into the tub? I tried to, but she was like, I, I was wrong and I don't want to hit her. So I just put it like uh, next to the, the, you know, right in the middle of the door, when you get into the bathroom, you just put her there, you know, mm -hmm. and you know, and trying to give her a CPR. I don't, I don't even know how to give a CPR, but she wasn't breathing at all. She was with her eyes like uh, open, but not moving. And I, was, I mean, I was scared, man. And I was waiting for police or raking to go, to go over there, man. Yeah. You know, once I see she, and I was screaming, I was on the floor, telling, trying to, Make her life again and screaming, baby, will you do this to me, baby? Help, help, help. Somebody has to hear me, man. I mean, yeah. I believe the door is already break when that happens. So somebody from outside has to hear me. Uh, the glass was already broke. Uh, the, glass the glass was glass already broke, yeah. When, how long ago what, the glass was broke? When did that, when did that happen? <sighs> if I tell you, man, I, I, I like to you right now because I really don't know when I break the door. I don't know with what, because I don't got quotes in my head. Okay. And you know, it, some you know normally when you break a glass, you cut at least a little bit in your your hands. Yeah. And I don't know if I did it with something or use something. I know I don't use her. <laughs> That's for sure. You don't wet her. I, I don't use her to break the glass, man. Wow. I never hit. I never hit no woman's none in my life, man. I don't do you know. remember? Do you, did you? During your argument or into when you were upset tonight, do you remember punching her? No, or man. With her or anything no. like that? No, man. Okay. Have you ever punched her, hit her, or struck her no. in the past? No. Nothing physical? Nothing. Nothing. We just agreed. That's it. Okay. That's it. What about has she ever been physical towards you? No. Did she struck you, no. punch you? No, anything no, tonight? She's not like that. She's not like Nothing that. tonight? Well, not tonight. One day she just hit me in my face three times because I told her. Uh, she said, I'm going to slap your face. And I go, I'll do it. And she was wrong, also. And she did it three times, hard as fuck. But that's when, it. when was that? Oh, we were living on uh, Hollywood Bridge. Okay. Uh, Russell Street. What, what did you do when she slapped you? Nothing. <laughs> it just stayed, okay, tomorrow I'm going to remind you of this. Were you drunk too at that time? No. <laughs> I was sober also. I was sober. I was, you know, she drank at the same uh, as a, at the same level I drink. So, but you know, I can handle it because I'm, you know, I'm, I got my body, man. And she's small. She get drunk faster than me. Right. <laughs> Way faster. You know, but never, never. She never touched me. Never touched her. Yeah. And you know, I don't. You know, I'm a man. man. I don't. I don't hit no woman. Okay. So but you, you, is. but you do get upset. I get upset, but it doesn't mean that I can. You know, I'm poor with her and hit, hit my girl or any girl. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like that. I mean, my family raised me really good about that. 
Okay. So, any of the damage that, that occurred inside the apartment, you said that it was, you had done it, not her. And you said that any of the damage, the broken glass, uh -huh. the broken door. Is this a door broken too? Well, there's uh, a, a plumb hole in the wall. Holes in the Holes? Oh, yeah, I did it with my hand. Okay. I did it. My question is this. You said it was last night, because before last night there was no problems, no broken glass, no, no holes. No, 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 no. Was it before or after you guys started being, being sexual? Uh, for me, it was ray, right, uh, what did you say, before we have sex. Before we have sex is when everything happened, with the door break, breaks. When one thing is break, everything else is going to be break. I know I get mad because of something. Right. Then we say, hey, I'm sorry, Rana, and we start making up uh, sets or whatever we did. You know? So, so you, okay. you, everything the, is the broke argument. before we, before we had sets, okay. not after. Not after. Not after. Okay. So you, you guys are drinking, you have an argument and everything, you, you, you get mad and start breaking everything. I mean, yeah. I okay. believe that's what happened, but I don't remember what I get mad Do you remember for. Do you remember making up? Like... Yeah, we just, we, we, you know, we talk and we, we, we have sets. I mean, if, we, if it's not, we, we don't have sets. Okay. Trust me, man. So my, my thing is, is if you remember kind of making up and having sex, what was the argument about? What what got you so enraged That's that you destroyed the house? That's what I don't remember, man. You know, I know we had the sets. I know we, I did the, those dirty things. And I know this because I never did this before. And it's a sh that shit is in my mind right now. Were you talking about sex before the argument? Oh, what? You said that she was asking you to do certain things. Was that before the argument or after? The yeah, argument? yeah, no, that was, uh, that was way before. Uh, that, we were just drinking and she was like, I'm in the moon. She was, you know, telling me, not not telling me to do it today, but she was telling me, hey, one day I want you to do this, uh, you know. Uh, okay, uh, you know, I didn't, didn't pay attention to that. I know I get mad because of something, it wasn't because of that. It was something else. It was something else. I know I break everything. I know I, I did it. If you see, you see holes in the in the wall and shit. I did that. She she did it. I did that. I break the door. If everything is broken inside. I did it. Okay, I understand that. What what I need to know is why you did it. What was that's told that's to you or what problem. what what you were upset about? I don't remember. Why you broke man. it? I really don't remember. I, was wrong. I need to know what she told you. I need to I need to know what you guys. You were upset about what the argument was about. I mean, you, then you ended up making up, but I mean, <laughs> we ended up making up. But <laughs> what do you what do you normally argue if, about? If if I tell you, man, I lied to you because I really don't don't remember. I really don't. I, should, I mean, you're, uh, you're saying that she brought up her you know what? ex. You know and what? You got upset at that. I uh, what? You saying that she's she brought up her ex, her ex you boyfriend or ex husband? Hey, yeah, yeah, no, 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 but I don't get upset. No, Nothing she, she, about no, that. She, no, that was in the beginning when we started drinking. That, that she's mentioning that some of the her family, I think it was uh, her aunts or something, don't like him. But you know, it was, she wasn't talking about him. It's actually, you know, it's, she was talking about her aunt. Okay. okay. All right. But I don't get mad because of that. And I know that I break those, I put those holes in the wall, and it's because you told me. Because I, I really don't remember that I, that I did that. Okay. You know. Okay. So. And I know I did it because you say it's holes in, in the wall. I did it. When when she she talked about putting certain things in her vagina, she started talking about that, and you guys were discussing that. Was this before having sex or during? No, I mean, she was telling me she was telling me that when we were drinking, and then we had the argument. Not because of that, maybe because of something else. If it would be because of that, I wouldn't do it. Trust me, I wouldn't do it something else and then in the end we make them up and i make my mind because i know i did something wrong i've uh, pushed a wall i've uh, break the door whatever and you know i did whatever she want me to do with her that's what i you know that's the way i, I feel like to do it mm -hmm. because i know i did something wrong i know i break the door i know yeah, you know and we both drunk and i you know i I do whatever she want me to do. I put the, uh, the bottle, it was a small bottle, I believe it was like beer bottle or something that she was drinking too. She was drinking the tequila and the beer. Okay. What kind of beer were you drinking? Uh, cause, cause like, uh, really like something like that, man. Something, I don't, I really don't.
So I remember, I know I have a blue moon inside of the fridge, but I don't know if it's that one, the one she was drinking, or if uh, made a light, so something like that. Okay. So the bottle, the beer bottle, you put the beer bottle inside of her? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. That was first that I put my arm. Before or after? If, uh, that, that was before I put my arm. Okay. Then when I put the beer bottle, and then she told me, I put your arm. Did anything else between the beer bottle and your arm? I know that I remember right now, man. I mean... How did you put the beer bottle in? Put it in. I mean, but how? Just did you, uh, the part that you drink out of, you put that in, or you put the bottom in? I mean, what did you put in? I really, I really don't remember, man. I mean, like, I just put the bottle. I know do I you used remember, the bottle. Do you remember taking the beer bottle out? Yeah, man. Of course. Okay. Right. <laughs> I ain't gonna leave it there, man. I took him out. I took him out. Did you put the whole beer bottle in? Yeah. I, the I whole did. bottle? She was asking for it, man. You know, I did it. Okay. I did it. All right. And then, then beer bottle, then what's next? The, I think I used my dig between the beer, beer bottle. I didn't care at all because it really, uh, there was blood. Once I, you know, with the beer bottle, it was blood, man. I mean, I hate blood. So the, the beer bottle caused her to bleed? I think so. Did the beer bottle break? No. No. Not that I, not that I know. It didn't break at all? No, that I know. There was, I mean, do you remember, was there any sharp, was there any, you know, if it if a piece of it broke, it's a glass bottle. Yeah, it's a glass bottle. I'm I'm asking, is it? Yeah, yeah you're asking. Uh, it, so if it wasn't cracked, it shouldn't be sharp, right? Shouldn't be what? Shouldn't be sharp, like it will cut you. If it's not broken, it I, shouldn't I know, be sharp. It shouldn't be caught. Right. But remember, man, we're talking about a bottle that didn't speak. Right. So as soon as you took the bottle out, she started bleeding. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was blood. I you know it was blood. And where was this at when this was happening? That was, that was where in the closet. I'm trying, trying to move to the to the bathroom. I really, you know, it was crazy, man. Everything was crazy. Everything was that just together. The, the, the break, the door, everything was. Was she was, was she standing was up? One moment, man. Right. Was I was she, drunk too, man. Was she standing up? Was she up and like walking? No, and she was like a uh, four four point position. She like on her hands and knees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you were gonna have sex with her doggy style from behind. Uh, exactly, uh, exactly. And I don't know if we did it from behind. I really don't remember. I think so too. So, okay. how did she get from the closet to the bathroom? Walking. Oh, so she did walk. Yeah, she did walk. And she was she was wrong, but she was okay. But she was bleeding from the clo She started bleeding in the closet. I don't know if she started breathing in the closet or not, I see blood. I see blood. I didn't realize, but when I see my hand, it was blood. And okay. then in the bathroom, I know it was blood coming from her pussy. Okay. You know, and I tell her, and she said, it doesn't matter, it don't hurt, huh? Okay, baby, what, what do you want me to do? Put your arm in me. Like, baby, you sure, huh? Yeah. But she was like, you know, was when, you I, when I start putting the arm, and then, like, like five minutes after that, she told me, I don't get out of the bathroom, I need to throw up. Okay. So when you were in the bathroom, in, in the closet, cor correct me if I'm wrong, mm -hmm. is when you put the beer bottle in her. Yeah, in the closet, I think so. Yeah, in the okay. closet. Okay, and she was on, in what position? And she was on like a, like a doggy style position. And you were behind her? Yeah, I was behind her. Okay, and, you, and you put the beer bottle inside I her. put the beer bottle inside. Now, was it a situation where you just... Just put it in, or were you moving in and out? I'm moving in and out. Moving, I'm in, moving in, and out. in and out. Okay, you know? and that's when she started bleeding. Yeah, I think so. I, mean, I see blood in my hand. Once we went to the bathroom, I didn't realize it was blood, you know? And she walked to the bathroom, and I went there, I see my hand, it said blood. Okay, but. And I know that's a the beer bottle, I know. It have to be. Okay. Is, did you did you put your, your arm or your fist inside of her in the in the closet as well? No. I didn't. That, that, that I did in the bathroom. Okay, when you got when when you got into the bathroom, what position was she in when you were same position as the by the beer bottle. She same. was on the floor? On the floor. On 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 all fours? Yeah, she was like a doggy stop position. And you were behind her? I behind her. Same position. And she said, and she asked you to put your... She asked me to do it. And I told her, baby, are you sure? Am I going to hurt? She said, no, I don't care. You know? And I told her, you got blood. She said, okay, it's not hurting. Okay. She, okay, but, she wasn't menstruating? She was she, Did she have her period? No, she don't, man. She had period like two weeks ago. So it's not possible. I'm not praying at all. 
too. I mean, like, I how, don't do you, know. how do you know she's not pregnant? Oh, well, I don't know that, man. Uh, did she was? No, I don't know. I'm asking. I don't, you. I don't know. I don't, I don't think she was. You said that because I'm always. I never came in some inside of her. You know, I'm always. You know, okay. use protection and you know. You know, I'm. I'm not make the same mistake twice. So. Okay. I already did twice, and no more, man. Yeah. We were ready to do one, but wait, you know, in the future. So you don't, you don't think she was pregnant? I don't think so. I never came inside of her. Okay. Never. Never, never, never. Now, the, there's blood. There's a lot of damage that's in the house. There's a lot of things. Is there anything else besides the beer bottle in the closet that you put inside of her? There's a, lot of, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of items on the floor. A lot of items? Like what? You tell me and I'll tell you if I did it or not. Um, because man, I, I really don't remember, man. There's I remember the flashlight. Beer bottle. There's like a, a light, flashlight. There's some kind of like a flashlight. There's, um, there's a, a flat iron. A, like girl, you, a, a long, thin flat iron. Girl that you women use for their hair. Oh, it's flat. Yeah, the, the like thing. a curler. Maybe. Maybe. Did she ask me for a beer bottle? Everything similar to that thing? Maybe. I'm, you know, no, that I remember for sure my arm and the beer bottle. Okay. Besides that, if you find anything, maybe. What, you about maybe. A, what about a coat hanger? A what? Like a coat hanger, or a, you know, that you hang clothes with? Uh, I don't think so. No. Anything that would have like a hook or a sharp that something caused her to bleed? Something cut her? Something cut her. I mean, that she was bleeding. I have to be some of those stuff. Maybe my arm too, man, but she half blood before I used my before arm. Before you used your arm. Yeah, so the, the bleeding and the, the, the injury occurred it, most likely in the closet because that's where you first started putting things inside. Yeah, I, I don't remember if it's blood in the closet. I really don't remember that, you know, even anything, man. It's, I just I just got her a CPI because I was nervous. I was, you know, she cannot breathe. I called 911 right away. Cause I really get scared, man. Yeah. I, I don't I don't look around. I don't remember anything. I know I use the bottle. Well, you, I, use I know you keep saying you don't remember, but you do remember. Yeah, you do kind remember. of kind of stuff, kind of stuff, uh, little by little. But for and real, it's important that you remember as much as you can, and you I tell know. us, and you're I honest know. and truthful about what happened. I'm always true. I'm always okay. true. I'm telling you everything. Everything I accept. Everything I did, I accept it. And I and I and I, and I understand it. that you're you're a man and you're you're, you're accepting it. But we need to know details. We need to know exactly what happened to her, why it happened, what you were upset about. Those things are that you're you're remembering everything, but there are certain things that you're not remembering, and I think it's because it's hurting you inside. No, man, it's, no, it's, not really. It's, it's like you're. Maybe if I already tell that, you about the arm, uh, I can tell you everything else. I understand. That's I understand you put your arm, but there's a reason why you were upset. I, I, that, I don't know, man. Listen, I was wrong. I know when I did. Well, you kind of touched on it. You said that, you know, you, you she wanted you to do certain things. And yeah, that yeah. was like, hey, wait, am I not? It makes me feel it, down, but am I not, not upset. Okay. Not upset. Not to not to break the door and things like that. I have to be something else. Something that I don't remember. Something that I don't remember. I cannot tell you, man. If I tell you right now, I'll be lying to you because I really don't know what to say about it. I don't want to be telling you, ah, she told me this, but it's not true. I don't remember. I really don't remember. I'll take the fall for everything is broke. I know I did it. I know I did. But I don't know why. So you're saying everything in a house you did, everything that occurred in that house was caused by you? Yeah, the every in, breaking things and everything. The injuries that she has inside of her? Uh, injuries that she has. Maybe I didn't, you know, I put the stuff in her. She didn't buy herself, but she was asking me to do it. You know, you know? Before I mean, I did nothing like, I, I didn't force her to do anything. I understand, I'm just trying to make sure that we have anything. The I never forced her to do anything that she don't want to. Before last night, you said this is, last night was the first time she asked you to do these things? Mm -hmm. With the bottle yeah, and, your, first and, time, and, your, and your fist? First time. Before last night, what is the kinkiest or craziest thing sexually you two have ever done before last night? 69. 69. That's okay. it. Nothing else than that. Not even porno movies. So you went from pretty, van pretty vanilla, pretty tame, 
Like, like not doing too much. Not doing too much. Not Nothing crazy. Sex. Just normal no, sex. No, normal sex. Right. Normal. normal you said sex. not even porno movies to not watch. Porno movies. Man. Okay. So normal sex. Normal sex. To way over here, where now she wants a beer bottle a beer and bottle. your fist inside of her. And all that shit. I don't know why she was telling me that for you because she was drunk or I don't know why. Well, I mean, had you ever had sex with her prior to her? I mean, last night was last night the first time you two had sex while she was drunk. No, man, no. We are done before, okay, so. but, but last night she was drunk, drunk, drunk. You know? Okay. And, you know, it was a, we both were drunk, very drunk. But you've had sex with her prior to last night where you both have been drunk, right? We had sex before drunk. Right. But, you know, like but drunk. She, but she's, never, but you know? she's never asked you to do anything like this before. Uh, no, she's uh, put her pussy on my, you know, my, my, my mouth. Some, you know, normal things. Listen, normal sex. We're all men here. Yeah, yeah. You've, you've eaten her out. She's exactly. blown you. Okay. Exactly. 69. You've exactly. been in her course. Probably in different positions. Doggy exactly. style. Missionary. Exactly. 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 You know, she's probably sat on but top of you. last night is the first time that she asked me for shit like that. I don't know. I, she don't do no drugs. When you guys are having sex, are the lights on? Is it? Is it? Is there lights uh, on? To, tonight it was. That's like, what I mean. It may be, maybe some uh, one day is on, one day is off. What about tonight? Like tonight the they were they were on, man. The bedroom lights were on. They were on. The bathroom, bathroom lights on. Bathroom lights were, were on, and the closet I don't remember because I I don't remember see the blood. I see it in my hands when we went to the bathroom, mm -hmm. but uh, they, and now I see it in the closet. So, you know, and uh, I know it should she, be would, blood. At any time did she say that it hurt? Or she was in pain or anything like that? Man, I, just, I was asking her, baby, does not hurt you? And she was telling no, keep doing it. it just like, you yeah, know, in the, in the language, in the had, drunk language. It had to hurt a little bit. I, I know, man, I know, I, I know. Completely understand that, but you, you, you just want me to keep doing it. I, I keep doing it. I keep doing it. I keep doing it. It's her pussy, you know what? Mm -hmm. I don't have a pussy. Mm -hmm. after, even after you saw she had been bleeding? I tell her, baby, you're bleeding. Right. She said, it doesn't hurt. That's what she told me. I don't know if it, because she was drunk. I was drunk too, man. Listen, I love sets. And, uh, you know, I love to see her pussy. Whatever. You know? Right. But the, the, the first thing that you can remember is putting a bottle on the side of her. That's yeah, the first thing. Yeah, that's, that's one of the, that's the first thing, man. That's the first thing. That's, and that comes to a conversation too. It doesn't make me pissed or nothing. Something oh, else. That's what you guys talked about initially? That no, no, not initially. We, we talk about everything. We talk about our family, my family, everything. I mean, our future, whatever. And, you know, you know, conversation. And then she mentioned it. She mentioned about the bottle and things like that. that that's, that's where I'm a little confused. You guys are drinking, talking about family, you know, doing no, normal time. You know, but the, and you've never done anything like this before. You've never, she's never asked you to do anything like this. You weren't like in the mood listen, at that, you went from point A to put a bottle love, inside of me. Listen, we're in love with each other. Yeah. We, we always, we always try to do everything to make the other one happy. Absolutely. You're you know? a man. And then, you know, in one part of the conversation, no, of course, I'm not, she's not going to be talking about her father and, from there, she told me, I want you to put a bottle on my, on my pussy, you know? She, she mentioned it, but we were talking about something like sexual, like something good, like something that we wanted to do together. And she mentioned that. Did she say this is something that, she, like a fetish that she had? Or that like she, what? A like fantasy? Some, yeah, yeah, she fantasy. should be a fantasy, man. She Are you talking be, about your fantasies tonight? Yeah, uh, no, me, man. I mean, like, I'm, you know, my, my fantasy is just be with her, man, and yeah. I cannot do that shit no more. Did she want to do anything to you sexually that was kind of crazy that maybe made, made you angry? Uh, maybe she would want to do something, but no, I don't think so, man. She, 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 she knows I'm a man, man. I mean, not, nothing that she can do that makes me mad, man. Whatever she want to do, do it. I'm, I'm okay with that. To you? Except, yeah, except my ass. Everything is okay, and she don't, she don't do that kind of stuff. So. But you did get mad. I think it might be because of something, man, but I don't know what. Well, we need to figure that out. We need to figure it out. I mean, so what would make you mad? No idea. What kind of what kind of things would enrage you? You guys have any problems in your relationship? No, man, not at all. We're, no? we're good. What about another guy? No, man. What if you found out that she was with another man? Huh? 
No, 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 no. What if you found out she was with another guy? If I found out, then I'd leave her. That wouldn't make you upset? That would make me upset, but I'd would leave her. Would it make her. you punch holes in the wall? Uh, maybe. Okay. And right. uh, maybe it made me punch the guy too. But not her. I understand that. Oh, I, I'm not. I know. I'm just saying. I'm just trying to figure out what made you enraged and what I'm got you upset. Trying to figure it out too, man. I don't even remember when I punched the, the walls, man. I don't even remember that. Like we no, both, we I know both I are, we both are guys. We both know. Like if I if I got to a point where I was I was so pissed off, I would kind of have an idea of what I would be upset about, especially if it was involving my wife. Mm -hmm. But listen, my girl. Man, when you're drunk, you don't know. That's the problem. Yeah. You're intoxicated. And you don't know. You don't know, I was intoxicated just like her. Yeah. You know, I really don't know what I get mad about. When you're intoxicated, you, get mad, you can get mad about anything. Yeah. You know, you, you don't control your mind. Was she upset at you for punching the walls? Was she upset at you for breaking oh, things yeah. in the house? Maybe. You see, mate, I know we make love. We make love and everything because I said sorry. And, you know, I know I said sorry because if it's no, we, we would never make love. But I'm not the so you're you're pretty sure that all the damage was caused before you had sex. Oh yes. Oh yes. So that when I'm pretty sure there was an argument, there was damage, there was a makeup, and then there was sex. And that was it. And then she told me, "Get out of the bar and you throw up." And it's, it's when all this shit happens, man, she couldn't she couldn't breathe. She couldn't breathe. I hear her, but I don't hear any noise. When I opened the door, she was like. Like this, like like you, you don't get earned to your to your. So, to your. let me ask you this: When she says to you, "I don't, I, I gotta throw up, get out of the bathroom." Uh huh. You left the bathroom. I thought, I, "Baby, you okay?" He says, yeah, 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 "Okay, I left the bathroom." Did she shut the door? No, no, no. I leave it. I leave it. I leave it. I leave it like like this, like no close, but almost know, close. It's just just in case, you know. Okay. I'm not gonna close okay. the door. So she's in there. What did you? What were you doing? Where, where were you at? What did I you do? I went outside to smoke a cigarette. You went outside. Yeah, to the back room. Okay. And was was then go ahead. I'm that's sorry. when I see that the glass is broke, and I think uh, one one glass almost getting to my feet is when I realized that that thing was broke. But I don't remember about punching the the wall. You say you see the holes. I did it. I but I don't remember. Okay. It is when I see that so, it's glass in the in the in the floor in okay. the carpet. So she's in the bathroom because she says she's got to throw up. She wants you to get out. Uh -huh. You go out to the balcony and smoke a cigarette. Mm -hmm. Give us an idea. How long were you out there? How long were you not with her? How long was she in the bathroom before you went in and found her? Ten, fifteen minutes. Ten, fifteen minutes. Ten, fifteen minutes. You know, like that. I remember pretty well. Uh, Ten to fifteen minutes because I used to. I smoke cigarettes when I'm when I'm drunk. I smoke it very very fast. How many know? cigarettes did you smoke? I smoked I smoked one cigarette. All right, then I went over there and I hear her. I say, "Baby, okay," and then I open the door. Is when I see her like this. Okay, and when you when you found her in that at that time, I know we asked you before. I just want to make sure. What ahead, what position was she in? She was like uh, between the, the the toilet and the and the the bath. Like, so. I thought she was gonna throw up in the toilet or right. in the bed. Okay. You know, like uh, you was can she... throw up any any anywhere you want. Okay, so she was in between the two, the uh -huh. toilet and the bathtub. Was she leaning more on the toilet? Was she yep. leaning more on the bathtub? Was she? I really, right now, it's, it's, she was be between the both of them. Okay. I don't remember, you know, pretty well. I know she didn't throw up. Because she didn't throw up. There was nothing in the, in the bath. And nothing in the toilet? No, I don't, I, not that I yeah. remember. Okay. Not that I remember. I know, I, and you know what? I don't hear her throwing up. You know, you just hear somebody throwing up, you hear it. Mm -hmm. I don't hear it. That's what I, you know? And she was like, and this one, I get scared. I call 911, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, now, now, at that point, me. you're up, you're walking, you're having a cigarette, you're walking around. You see her, you see your house. What? You see, like your apartment at that point. Yeah, you say man, you recognize I mean, that the glass is broke. I recognize you that see the glass her, is broke. Where is she at? She's in the bathroom. At she that was point. in the bathroom. She was in the bathroom. Then I get have, out of the bathroom. Then you have like your little hallway, you have a closet, bedroom, and kitchen over here, right? So you have your kitchen, your bathroom, yeah, you your closet, and the bedroom. Yeah. So you're checking her, and in that area. No, but she wasn't in that area. She wasn't in the bathroom. I know. I'm saying, but you find her in the bathroom. But if you stand at the bathroom. 
you can see your bedroom on right to the right. The, the bedroom? The bedroom. I, I, I don't care about the bathroom. I just I, I'm outside. just telling you. Yeah, you can see the bathroom. You can, you can see so it. you see the area. There's a lot of blood. There's a lot of blood in that area. You, did you see all that blood? Man, I don't even re realize. I, mean, I just went outside smoking. I know there was blood. I told, I told her. I know it was blood. Yeah. I put the bottle. I know that something was bleeding. And I was hurt. But there was, a, there was a lot of blood. There was a lot of blood. I know. And the closet and everywhere. And the bathroom between the closet and the bathroom. There was a lot of blood. I know yes. it's a lot of blood. Did you try to clean it? No, man. Why should I have to try and clean it? She, she was the one to have to clean it the next day. No, man. Okay. But you... When she says she's you want she wants you to leave and you're gonna go to she needs to throw up. You okay. go out and smoke a cigarette. Okay. When you come back, you see all that blood. Were you concerned about that? Didn't you find that? I see the blood. I know there's blood. I know, but all that amount of blood, that wasn't a concern for you. Of course. And I told her, she said it's okay, it's okay. I know, but she's not she's not uh, conscious at that point. No, at that point not. But I told her. Because she was in the bathroom, but that's how there was already the blow is already there. When she she say get out of the bathroom, want to throw up? Well, we already do the the thing and everything. And I told her there's a lot of blood. Has she ever bled before when you had sex? Um, yeah, a couple times. Like while she's having her period? No. So she told me that she have um this kind of um I don't know how to say in English um. A, a, a petite B or something like that that Hep she that she have uh, the I don't know how to hepatitis it. yeah Hep B hepatitis B yeah something like that and what is and what does she say um, I, I don't know I, mean, the like, I don't know if that's the problem or, or whatever she said that she have um, you know the photo you have inside that is for the alcohol the photo the alcohol mm -hmm. she says that down in there is uh, is weak something like her that her liver. Yeah, some, yeah. I don't know if you say that in English like that, but okay. I don't know if that could cause the reason to to blood, but uh, right, right. I, I yeah, but how much know. how much blood is yeah. nothing like she tonight? No, no, no. But tonight some, was something different. Uh, tonight we did crazy shit, never done before. But we had sex before. Just use my dick. She had blood. Yeah. But like, but tonight, I man, like. Come on, man. Come on, man. Look, look, no, no, it's crazy. On, no, I, I understand. Now, the what? I don't see. There's no blood on your arm. <laughs> man, I wash that up. It should That's be. what I'm asking. When you had you, did you clean up? Did you clean yourself up? Not myself up. I no, mean, not exactly. Well, now I have blood, man. But you know, come on. I put my hand on her. And I have blood. I'm not gonna leave the blood there. No, I have I to wash so it off. Well, well, that's what I'm asking you. Do you well, no, we soap, man. We no, no, no. no. I, I, I'm just saying. You just. What did you do? How, that's what I'm asking. What did uh, you do? You wash it off because I don't have any blood. Where, where Maybe you, there's the sink you see open. Where, where did you I wash it in, in the sink? It should be. Okay. Should in be. the bathroom sink. In the bathroom, I guess. Okay. Uh, and where was she when you were washing it off? She was over there in the floor. She was like. She was like over there. She told me, "Get out! I have to I have to throw up, man." Okay. You At know? what point did you wash the blood off your arm? Right there, right there. Okay. And then I'll get out and smoke the cigarette. So you wash your arms, then you left. And then I left and we smoked a cigarette. And she said, "You want to throw up?" Went, okay. She didn't throw up. She was bleeding a lot. I know that. Mm -hmm. But she was okay until I get until I get to the bathroom and find her like she couldn't breathe. That's what scared me up and I called the police or 911. I have to use the restroom. Yeah. You want to take a break? Yeah, I do too. You got to go to the bathroom? Uh, I need to smoke a cigarette, man. Like, cool. All right, let's go smoke a cigarette. <sighs> You want to eat? That's your food. It's a sandwich. Yeah. You have water? You need another water? Yeah, okay. okay, just give me a minute, all right? I'm gonna talk to my boss. Okay. Right. You, you writing something? No. 
Right. Go ahead. No. You okay? Right. I, I need another minute. Just want to make sure everything okay? No. You sure? Okay. Oh, it's just not just doodling. Huh? Doodling. What? Doodling. Drawing. Drawing. What, is, what is that? Car? Hot rod? Let's see. Okay. Um, what is that? I'm just curious. It looks like a, a caterpillar engine. But Caterpillar engine. Okay. We got we got a little bit of a problem. Okay. Yes. All right. I just got off the phone with our uh, crime scene, and the medical examiner is there. Okay, the doctor. And she, there's the injury to her is severe, severe injuries. Severe injuries. Severe injuries. Body. Yes. Um, multiple injuries inside there. Tissue ripped out. What is that? Tissue. Inside. All the insides out on the floor. What else? So that's, that's the cause of the death? Yeah. We think. You know the amount of blood that's in there? They, her insides were ripped out. Uh, what happened, man? What happened? Fidel, this is not a case of just rough sex. Yeah. Okay. This is not a case of rough sex. Uh, There's blood everywhere. No, no, no. Everywhere. Listen, listen, just tell us. I do, no, I'm just us. doing whatever she was telling me to do. She wasn't man. telling you to do that. Because oh, that's, yeah. listen, Fidel, the amount of pain that she would have been in would have been unbearable. Okay? The amount the doctor just looked inside of her and the amount of pain that she would have had, she wouldn't have been able to withstand it. I don't, I don't kill her, man. I don't. We're not say, saying you intended to do it. No one's saying you intended to do it. No one's saying you, you yeah. wanted to. I, I, I hear, I hear I your remorse. Kill, Listen, I, I heard the remorse in your, in your voice when, when you're, you're trying to get help, and I understand that you care for her, and this is someone that you love. I don't care. But, man. however, there's injuries inside of her that need to be explained. She, she was telling me whatever the, what I was doing. She, Tell Listen, me, do it this, do it, man. She was telling me. She I understand, was but that's, me. that, listen, you as a human being, you as someone that loves this girl, would not be doing that to her, even if she was asking you. We both were it's, drunk, man. I, I, I don't care. I don't care. That doesn't make a difference in this situation, okay? There's serious injury to her. There's things that were done in, in there, and I think you have a little bit of a conscience, and you were worried, you were, you were worried because you, you even cleaned the blood off yourself. Okay. And hey, listen, look, you're not you. You love this girl. Okay? I love her, man. Of this course. Is some, and so I know what happened in there is not something that you expected to happen. Okay. It just things got things went wrong. Things went bad. But it's important for you to be honest about it. And tell us Mom, the truth because I, I know I know you're saying that you put your arm inside of her. I know you're saying that you put bottles inside of her and everything else, but there's more to it. There's more to this story. There's more to the story, and if you really love and care for this girl, and you have a heart, you'll tell us what happened so that we can have some closure for her. 
does, it does because it. listen, listen, there's more to the story than what you're telling us, and there's more that you remember. Okay, I know you're saying you don't, but you remember ex specific details here and here, but the, the part in the middle, you're blocking out because it hurts you. The fact that that happened, it hurts you that that, that occurred. It's got to be bothering you. I, I Listen, what, what they, I just saw pictures, and I'm going to show you some pictures in a little bit, okay? And show you what I just saw. It's devastating. And to do the right thing for her, and the right thing for yourself, and the right thing for her family. I do the right thing. Whatever I have to be done, I'll do it. The right thing is to tell us what happened. I told you Tell everything. us the truth of what happened. I'll tell you the truth. I tell you everything what happened. Everything that I remember, that's what I told you. I know, but there's more that you remember. No, I don't remember. You're blocking anything. it out, but there's more that you remember. It's not that I'm blocking it out. Fidel, do you let me ask you a question. What's do you do you want to be looked at as an animal? A what? Do you want to be looked at as a monster? Of course. As not. someone who is careless? Of course not. Exactly. Because I don't think you're that person. I'm not that person. Okay. I, mean, I have two kids so, and I have my job. And, uh, okay, so listen. That's what we're saying. I don't think you're a monster either. I don't think you intended for any of this to happen. Of course not. Okay. But, but, at, some point but you at, got, some point, at some point you got upset and you became enraged. And there's, there's a point in that time when, you, when that happened. Something, something snapped. Something upset you. No, nothing, man. Nothing. Because we just the damage doing... that you caused in that house... That house was not in that condition prior to all this going on. All of a sudden now there's holes and everything is destroyed. She's got internal injuries that need to, that you're saying is just caused from a bottle, and that's not the truth. Those injuries that's not the truth. There's more that was up inside of her. There's more that was done, and there's no way she could have dealt with that pain without either being unconscious or telling you she to was, stop. She was she was she was talking to me. She was like Well no, maybe may, like, maybe in your head you're thinking that. But nah. well I know she might have been talking at the beginning, but there there's some point in time when she's not <clears> conscious <throat> because <clears throat> what is what was taken out of her is impossible for When you. she was not conscious when I came into the, the to the bathroom she was not breathing. She was like <clears throat> like this. That's the point that she was unconscious. But when we're doing the stuff, she was talking to me. She was telling me, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, Keep that's doing. That's Fidel, just like that. this is not rough sex, man. I told you that. This is not, this is, this is a lot more than rough sex. I know, I know. Okay, so if you know, explain I to understand. us. Tell us. I understand. Tell us. I did everything she told me to do. Man. I, don't, I don't know. I what else did you put inside before. of her besides a beer bottle in your fist? What else? This and the bottle. What else? And, and that thing that you said for the hair could be possible too. The flat the, iron? The, the thing for the hair. What else? Nothing else that I remember. What did, in the closet, at some point, stuff that's inside of her came out? And stuff of yeah, her, her stomach. Part was, of her body. Part of her body, tissue, is out inside the closet, on the ground. How's gonna, how can that be possible, man? You tell me. It's only possible, it's only possible by what was going on in there. I find it hard to believe that she got up and walked to the bathroom after she what happened to, to her inside the closet. She walked to the bathroom. I mean, I'm surprised she didn't bleed out in the closet. She bleed? I thought no, I told like you. bleed out, like not be able to breathe. And pass away in the closet from the amount of blood that she lost. No, she was in the bathroom. She, she, she was. She told me she wanted to throw up, and when I did come you, back, did you drag her to the bathroom? <clears throat> no, she was. She was normal. She was like. What do you mean normal? Like, like she couldn't have been normal because her insides are on the floor. She was spread out. walking. Okay. Look, she was walking to the bathroom. When you put your hand inside of your fist, were you? I'm not trying to be funny when I do this. I'm asking. Did you? Were you doing this? Yeah. Okay. When you pulled your hand out, did you have anything in your hand? I don't know, blood, I guess. Anything else? Do you feel anything in your I hand? No, that I remember, like, you know. Squishy, just, anything? Just, just blood, I mean, full of blood. I mean, no, oh, come on, man. I'm asking. No one's saying you intended hey, for this no, to happen. Of course not. Exactly, that's why we're out, we're trying to, we're trying to figure this out. We have to explain to the doctor, and we have to explain to other people that are looking at this what happened. Okay, we have to explain how she got into this condition. Part of her insides, from inside of her body, are on the floor in the closet. 
We're not saying you're a killer. Okay. No, I'm not. Because you're not a murderer. <laughs> you're not a killer. This is no. not you. Okay. No, but you have to be honest of what happened in there so that we can put the pieces together. Everything I've been telling you is everything I know. You but know, there's some things that you're leaving out. There's I'm some not things. There's out. some things that you're leaving out because you're afraid. You're afraid that it's going to make you, you. You think that it's going to make you look bad. It's going to make other people look at you bad. But you know what's going to happen? If you're not honest and tell us what actually occurred in that house, and we're trying to put all this together. That shows that maybe, you know what, maybe he is a bad person. Maybe he what, is a cold-hearted killer. Maybe he doesn't love her. And I don't think that's you. No, that's not me, man. That's not you. I know you, you, you have care and concern for this girl. All right? Do you love this girl? Of course, babe. Okay. Would you do anything to hurt her? Of course not. Okay. But you did. Right? And I'm not leaving anything out of these, But, but you, did, you understand you. that you hurt her. Right now, I understand. Everything you're doing, you're but you told me right now. But, but you know you did because you saw the blood. Yeah, blood is not blood. normal. Blood from sex is not normal. That amount of blood is not normal. Okay. Did it, the injuries that were caused to her, she didn't do them to herself. Of course not. And there was no one else in the apartment. It was me. It was you. I know. Okay. I know that. So explain to us how... Part of her insides, part of her inside of her body. Listen, why, why did you why did you wash your hands? Why did you wash? Because your I went outside to smoke a cigarette. Why? Yeah, but you cleaned up more than just the, the amount of blood that's in that apartment, all over the walls and on the floor. You had a lot more blood than just side in your arm. You had a lot more blood than just on that right arm. No, you you can taste me, man. I don't even have soap in my hand. It's just pull water and wash the hand. Where, where else was blood on your body? I don't know, just my hand. Maybe this one. But both, both hands? this one is the one I use. No, this one is the one I use. Your right arm? Yeah, this okay. one. Okay, but did you have blood on that on that arm too? Maybe if I touch myself for you. What about your legs? The, the legs and the floor. Well, you had to have blood on your legs because there's blood all over the floor. There's the, the blood on the floor. That's, wow. what I have, that's what I have blood on my legs. Yeah, but leg. you don't have really a lot of blood on your legs. Did you go into the shower and wash off? No. Because you said you put the shower on. To put water on her face because she wasn't breathing. It's when I called the police, the 911. What about a towel? Did you use a towel? I know. I don't use no to towel. To dry so off? To mm -hmm. wipe anything down? I don't think so. I don't know. No, it's important that you. you I, I don't think so. Now that I remember, I don't use nothing. Man. I don't use no, no towels or something like that. So after, after, you, after you called 911 the first time, and the phone went down. You say you dropped the phone, or you disconnected because they couldn't get the, they the couldn't get the address, correct? Yeah. Well, what did you do phone. from that point to when the police got there? Try to wake him up. Try to give her CPR or something. She wasn't breathing. She wasn't breathing. Okay. Not breathing at all. Did she ever ask for help? No. Her? No. She was a. <gasps> did she ever ask, tell you to stop, or that she was in pain or hurting? Never. She was talking, you know, like, keep going, keep going. That's it. But she never told me, stop. I don't know. I don't even know how fucking shit from her body come out of there. Really don't know. I mean, like. Well, listen. You see that, right? Yeah. All the way here. If you put your whole arm inside her, you were up inside her stomach. Correct? What the, why, why? No, I mean, I'm just saying, you think realistic. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're putting no, your whole no, arm inside her. No, no, where is no, your no. hand at that point? It's not in her vagina anymore, right? I understand. It's up inside her stomach. Well, why she didn't tell me to stop or something? We don't know. <clears throat> and the stuff, and, and the part of her body from, the, from her insides that's on the floor, it's not, it wouldn't just fall out of her. It would have to be pulled out of her. I didn't pull anything, I like it. Oh my God. When she had, where was it that she had trouble breathing? In the bathroom. So she was fine in the closet? Yeah, she was fine. She was, she was, she was okay, let me get, she was wrong, just like mine, just like me. But, but I said, in the bathroom is when I, when I get nervous and she wasn't breathing. Was she coherent? Huh? Was she like awake during that time? I yeah, mean, she you was. You know, you're saying drunk, but was she? Did she know what was going on? 
Of course. She was the one that told me, put the bottle on me. I understand. She was the one that told me, use your hand. I mean, of course, I, I wouldn't do it if she wouldn't tell me that. Yeah, I know. I she never... said to put your hand, but you put your arm. Listen. Listen, you know, when you put your arm in someone and go up inside to their and inside their intestines, that's that's damaging. That's damaging. It's not sexual. That's torture. Is it possible that she passed out while you had your arm inside of her? No, she was awake. She was... She was, she was like, like, like having fun, like, you know, like, like having fun. It's not like a, like a scream of pain or something, like just having fun. You know, like, that's how come I, that's how come I say, I don't, oh. Were you, were you upset at her? No, I was, of course not. You were upset at something. You were mad. You were angry. Listen. Like I explained to you. I mean, you're feeling no pain because you're punching wall holes and walls and doors and everything else and breaking glass. There's. I don't remember when I own none of that bad. I know I did it. Yeah. But I don't know why, and I don't remember how, how with what I break the door. I know maybe the holes with my hand, mm -hmm. but but like I like I explained to you earlier, I have that temperature. She knows. She will, will live in all the places. And she knows I do the same thing. I understand. You know? I understand. But then at that point, I think maybe the rage when you guys are having sex continued. I think it continued no, because her. you shoved your fist up into her stomach, inside her, her guts. You know why I think she was passed out when you had your fist inside of her? I'll explain to you why. Why? Because what came out of her insides, there's no way she could have been conscious and not been in... Horrible, horrible, horrible you pain. Explain to me, it's from her, of course, inside, inside of her body. But why, when I pull my arm, and you obviously was, pulled it out. No, I don't. I don't grab anything. I mean, just pull my hand. That's it. I no, you put your you put your arm up to here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like like he just said. Look how far that is. I know. Okay. I know, but I don't, I don't grab anything and pull it back. But, but if it comes something out of there, I, I really don't know. I mean, oh man. Did you guys get in an argument because she thought she was pregnant? No, of course not. Oh, I wish you could be pregnant, man. If well, maybe if it was yours. Maybe it was, maybe she was pregnant by somebody else. I don't know. If she was pregnant? I don't know. I'm asking you. Is no, there a conversation? No, she's not pregnant. I have no idea. She's not pregnant. She's fell, uh, fell for, uh, how do you say? She, she, she don't shit on me. I mean, like, she, she's, she's a good girl. She's a perfect girl, man. She's my love. You know, and I don't shit I don't her. doubt for one second you love her. But we have to figure out and we have to make some sense of what happened here because this is not rough sex, okay? I, I, I understand. Her I'm guts, saying. her guts, I don't know what else word to use, her insides were ripped out of her. That doesn't happen by a beer bottle. I know. Okay? Because the beer bottle is not broken or cut. It's not, there's no sharp edges to it. It didn't break inside of her. We, I asked you that. You said no. Okay. I don't think it breaks inside. It was good. The bottle was... And, and, and which end of the bottle went inside of her? I, I really, to be honest, I don't remember. I really don't... Were you holding the top of the part you drink? Were you holding that in your hand? I don't remember, man. I, I know I used the bottle. Right. I know I used it, but I don't, don't remember. And how, from the table, how big is a beer bottle? About that big? It was a meter light or close light bottle. With a long neck? Yeah. Okay, so it's about what, that tall? Uh, something like that. Okay, so the whole bottle went inside of her? No, no, the whole, I was holding it. Well, you were holding it. Yep, yeah, but I don't but know if it went all the way up to you. Okay. It for, from the back or from the from the top, I really don't know, man. I'm just... <sighs> right now, the most important thing for you to do is Remember, okay? Remember for you, remember for her, remember for her family. I know, man, I know. Okay? No one, no one thinks you're an animal. No one thinks you're an animal. No one thinks you intended to do this. Of course not. Okay? Seriously. Of course not. 
but you you've got to be able to explain what happened here. Oh man, we both were drunk. I'm, I don't know. I really don't know. I was so drunk, and she was so drunk. I really don't know, man. I wish I can explain better. I wish I can explain better. I, I'm telling you everything I remember, man. And you know, I'm fucking telling you everything, everything I, I remember, like, you know, almost exactly how it is. Almost is the key. Exactly, it's because almost. I, don't, I don't remember everything. But, but I think you do. I think there's a point that you're trying to block out because it's killing you right now. It's burning you up because of what happened. And you're thinking back right now, thinking, wow, I can't believe I did something like that. But it wasn't you. You weren't in the right state of mind. You, you wouldn't intentionally Listen. hurt her, right? Listen, there's nothing inside of me that I have not telling you. Everything that I know is everything that you know. Okay? You know, I'm not, I'm not hitting nothing. I'm not, you know, I, you know, I prefer to pay 20 years on job just, just for, for, you know, you know, for her family to be okay and they don't think I'm a monster. I don't, I don't, I don't think you're a monster. But no one thinks you're you a monster. Know, I don't, I but, don't. But you have to, but you have to be honest and help us put I'll the pieces honest. together from point A to B. You're giving us here and then there's a gap and then you're giving us after. That time in between, from that closet to that bathroom, something happened from the closet to the bathroom that you're leaving out, okay? You guys drank. You had an argument. Yep. Did the argument happen after, possibly? You're saying it happened before. Did it happen after? Did it happen during? Oh, uh, when, when I break the stuff, it was right. Why are you right breaking before stuff? Before we make sense. Okay. So you're breaking stuff. You're having an argument. What is the argument about? I don't know. That, that's, that's what I, um, I don't know. I really, I wish I can remember and I'm telling you. You know, I can't, but see, I can't, that I can't would, but tell you. Do you I can't understand tell you how anything. that would, you, I, can, could, I know, but don't you understand how that would make more sense? That if you did something during sex that may have injured her, there's a reason. You know, there'd have to be a reason. You're not just going to do it for no reason. For no for no reason. No, you're not going to hurt her for no reason. You're going to hurt her just because she's drunk. Because no, 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 just because no, you're no, drunk. No, 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 no. You said you've had sex with her when you're drunk before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of you have been but, drunk before. But no, no, like yesterday. Yesterday we, we we were like really, really, really drunk. I understand that. Okay, and but you also said to us earlier that. The, the kinkiest or the craziest thing you've done sexually was a 69. 69. Okay, so that's why we're saying something ha else happened here. This it isn't this isn't rough sex. I have said okay, that before. I understand that. Do you agree with that? I agree with that. That's you do? Okay, sex. so then explain yeah. to us what it was. You know, what, what was it was it? to me, rough sex when I was drunk. And for her, the same thing. Because she didn't scream with pain. She wasn't telling me to stop. You know, how can I explain? I mean, I don't leave nothing behind. I can tell you whatever. I can tell you, yeah, we have an argument about her edge, and that's it. But I'm not going to tell you that because that, I really don't know, man. Is, the, 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 uh, you said that she never said stop. Was, uh -huh. she, was she unconscious? Did she, she was, pass out? She was talking. She, she, she was, was talking. Initially, but, yeah. But you could be, you know when you get drunk and you, you have no idea what's going on and you, you When kind of she was out. unconscious is when I find, when I went to the bathroom, she cannot breathe. In the it's closet. When, Did she pass out in the closet? No. She was, she was, she was like normal, like, like normal. She, was, okay. she wasn't normal in the closet. She had her stomach ripped out of her in the closet. I know. You, you guys so that's not that normal. Right now, but. There's the amount of blood that's in the closet and, and what happened in the closet. There's there's no way that she was either saying no and stop because it hurt like hell, or she was unconscious. That's the only explanation we can have she here. She wasn't unconscious. She wasn't, and she wasn't telling me to stop. But that that's the thing. It's one of those two things. No, because there's, she's gonna let you rip her stomach out and not say anything. That doesn't make any sense. That that makes absolutely no sense, Fidel. Does it to you? It does. It doesn't okay, make sense. So I'm not. I, we're, so we're on the same page here. I understand. You, we're on the same page. Okay. Because. Uh, Fidel, I know it's not easy. I know you're confused. I know a lot of things are going through your mind right now. Of course, man. You know.
but you have to do the right thing and tell I'm the truth. Doing the right thing, man. I'm you need to do the right thing. And be honest. Remember. I know everything you're you're everything. saying that everything that you remember, and I understand that. But I think there's more that you remember that you're not telling us. There's more that you're leaving out that you're not telling us. I'll never hurt her. I will never hurt her. Okay. Never do something to hurt her. You know, you, you know uh, in killing her. I'm not saying you killed her. She, I mean, she obviously okay, but listen, did. listen, I mean, like, listen. That's a reason because she is dead because whatever well, we did. But did you intend to do that? Of course not. Okay. Of course not. I wasn't okay. conscious, man. Okay. We, it's like we, a car accident. You get in a car accident. Someone dies. No, this is not a car accident. Well, I'm just no, saying he, it's an accident. This this was obvious. Was this? I mean, something. You either intended to kill her or this was an accident. Of course not. Okay. So, if you guys were having sex and you accidentally did something to her that you didn't intend and she ended up dying from it, well, then that's an accident, right? I know, but... It is, but man, it's at some up, point, man, at some man, point man. during this night, you saw the blood. You saw this. You saw that you I made a mistake. I saw the blood. I saw the blood. But, you, but, you, but at that point, you knew you made a mistake. No, right? I, I made a mistake at this point, and I, I knew I made a mistake. But, you, at that but you, point, you knew you made a mistake at that point when you're washing the bloods off the blood I know, it's a blood. I just, I just washed the blood because I was going to smoke a cigarette. I know I had blood. I know I had it. I know I had the blood. Were you going to smoke a cigarette because you knew that it was over? No, man. I went to smoke the cigarette because she told me she was going to throw up to get out of the bathroom. No. That's what she told me. That's what I get out of the bathroom. And when I go back, I see her without breathing. It's when I call 911. I'm not leaving anything behind, man. I'm telling you everything, everything, everything I remember, everything how it was. If it's something else, I'm sorry. I cannot tell you. I, I, you know, let's, let's do this. Let's just take a, take a few minute break. Yeah. Maybe it'll help you remember more if you start to write stuff down. Maybe. It'll be possible. You want to try it? Write down what happened. But I'm going to write this the same thing I'm telling you. Guys. Okay, take your time. Write. Maybe something will come to your mind. Okay? Listen, no one, we're not saying you intended to do this. Of course not. Man. Okay, you, so you just know, understand that. Jail because understand that. Understand that. Just write, and maybe it'll help you jog your memory. Okay? And we'll come back in a few minutes. Okay? You want some more water? No, I'll, I'll write it down. Outside, if, you, if it's possible, to wear, wear a smoke a cigarette. Sure, absolutely. Go on. You have your cigarettes with yeah, really, you? Uh, yeah. Okay. And I uh, you know, go to jail because something that I really do. How many cigarettes did you smoke? I don't know, one over there, right now? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so let's, let's discuss what's going on. Okay. Talk to me. I'm not going to think any different of you. No one is. We're only, it's only going to be for your benefit. It's only going to help you. Things get out of hand. We both were drunk. We was, but for real, to be honest, I don't. I really don't remember why I punched the the, 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 the holes. So, you know, now I know that I did it because you guys tell me there was holes. I don't. I don't even know the open holes and that. Okay, I'm not concerned about the, the holes. Whatever it did. Like I said, she was she was talking. She she, she was talking in the, in, the, in the closet and then in the, in the bathroom too. I remember those parts because I do remember those parts. But but uh, you know the, we weren't drinking more when we had says uh, whatever we weren't drinking. We just drinking until we had the whatever problem we had. But I don't know what was it. No, that's that's. You know what the problem is. 
that's that's what you're holding back. And that's what you need to come clean with. That's what you need to be honest with. Like the tattoo no, machine right listen, now on me, man. From whatever you're, you're saying, from yourself. whatever the problem you have, that's where it went bad. That problem, you know, is what you had. You know what happened. You know what was upsetting you. I have nothing against her. Whatever I think I did, you do. It hit. I think you do. Maybe I, you know, things get out of hands. Okay. And that, but this but when things get out of hands, it things are hurt inside or something. Things I mean, get out of hand because something bothered you. There's something you oh keep my. saying that we got to the point I got upset or something bothered you, and then it, things got out of hand. What was it? What was it? That's what I'm trying to figure it out, man. I you, really, you don't have to I figure out it. You know what it was. What was it? What caused you to go? Listen, if I really, if I really it, know that, I'll tell you no, right but now. I think you do. You but do. I'm not. You're. you're listen. I you really, know yourself. You know, know who myself. you are. Okay. Know you know what upsets you. No, okay. When I was drunk, you, yeah, but you know, you know when you're mind. drunk, you still know what upsets you and what causes you to go get upset. All right. You've had arguments with her in the past, right? You've had arguments with her in the past. You know what things have sparked and and caused you to get upset. This is no different, man. And you need to just tell us why. That's all you need to do. It will be a big weight lifted off your shoulders, I'm telling you. It really will. You know what I think part of the reason is you don't want to tell us? Because we're three men sitting here. I think part of you is embarrassed. Because I think I have an idea what may have happened. And I think you do too. I know you do. And you just don't want to tell us. Okay? What do you think? What do I think? I think you wanted to have a nice night with your with your girl. And you guys went out drinking. And you came home. And you stopped and bought some more, some more liquor. Some tequila. You came home and you're drinking. And things started moving. And you drank so much, you couldn't get your dick hard. You couldn't get it. You couldn't get an erection. You're asking me what I think. I'm telling you what I think, okay? And then because you couldn't get your dick hard, okay, an argument, a fight ensued. Because now you don't feel like a man. Now you don't feel like you're worthy. Now you don't feel like you can, you can. No pun intended. Rise to the occasion and do what you got to do is please your girl, okay? And so an argument ensued, okay? And you got angry. I okay. do nothing against her, man. Okay, you said earlier. You said earlier you told us that you didn't come. Uh, so you didn't ejaculate. I did, I did, and that's, I think, because you couldn't get your dick hard. That's, no, I, my okay. Dick hurt. Okay, and I think you were embarrassed, and I think it pissed you off because she said something. Maybe she didn't mean to, maybe she didn't mean to offend you, but whatever she said offended you. You're a man, okay? No you're Hispanic, you're Cuban, to... you have pride, okay? Don't, don't sit here and question my manhood is what you're saying here. Am I, am I right? That's what you think. I'm asking, am I right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, okay, right. so what happened then? So what happened what with happened, the argument? Man. That's not what happened. No? To be honest, man, I really don't know what happened. Listen, I was so... Fidel, so come on. Don't, listen, you remember here, you remember here, and you remember here. Okay, remember but you conveniently part. don't remember the most important part. You conveniently don't, conveniently don't remember what happened in the closet, what happened in the bathroom, okay? But what happened in between the two? The she had her guts was... ripped out in the closet. And you're going to sit here and tell us, come on, you don't remember what the argument was about? Fidel, we both said it. I don't think you're a monster. I don't think you intended to do what you did, okay? But ultimately, you did it. I did it. I know that, and I know you know that. To be a man about it, explain why. What set you off? What got you so angry? You were enraged. Why? Just explain why, and you won't know. You're a human. Okay? You're a human being. You're flesh and blood, just like he and I. And you snapped and things got things went bad. Okay? Just explain that. That's all we're asking you to do is explain why. What happened? What started it? We were like 
we were like drinking. We were drinking, we get drunk. I don't even know, not even when I open the holes, when I, when I break the window. I don't, I don't, don't even remember when I did that. I don't, I don't know what was the argument. I know something happened, but I really don't know, man. I mean, like... Fidel, you ripped her insides out of her through her vagina. I didn't mean to do that, man. I understand that, but you did it. What pissed you off to the point where you did that? Was she fucking somebody else? No, did she tell you she wanted to leave you? I mean, I don't know. I'm asking. I'm asking. I don't know. Did she tell you she was having sex with her ex-husband again? about believe me or something um, maybe she mentioned something about go to Peru you know, she, but she that was she she not yesterday she mentioned like they one day ago like two days ago okay I'm going to Peru and live with her mother because she was you know tired of whatever this country I don't know why she was like that you guys weren't getting along huh you guys weren't getting along oh yes we do you want me to go with her, but you know, it's. I, I cannot leave my kids here and my job and go to somewhere else and not yeah. to make any money. Yeah. I mean, that, that might be one of the reasons. But to be honest with you guys, I really don't remember. Did you talk man. about that last night? I don't know, man. We were so. I, mean, I was drunk. Oh, she was drunk. In your house before you, all this started going on, did you start talking about that? When you sat down in your little makeshift boxes, cutting up lines, having... No, the only thing we talk about was the, one of her hands don't like her her ex-husband. Uh, that's, that's the only thing we, we talk, um, like, you know? How did that conversation come about? You're having a nice night with your girl, drink, having drinks, yeah, we, and you start talking about your, her cousin and her ex-husband? No, nah, because, we, you know, we were just talking about... Her family or my family and things like that, and, you know, you know, we're just talking about the family and whatever is good, whatever is not good, whatever is piece of cherry, whatever is not, you know, things like that. If I, if I really remember what's going on, why, why, what was the aggregate, I'll tell you, when, man. I'll when, really tell you. Anyway. Listen, what, when you discovered that she wasn't breathing, and you were gonna call 911. What was going through your mind at that time? What was going through my mind? Well, she was dying. Okay. And what do you think was gonna happen? Or what? If she died, what did you think was gonna happen? If she died? Mm hmm. What would. What, what I'm gonna think? I'm there. I'm. I'm, I'm I'm here. I'm, you know, I, I cooperate with anything has to be done. You know, I'm not run away. I'm not, you know. Yeah, I know. I know you did it. You didn't run. You're here. You're talking to us. You're you you. And I know is whatever happened. And and this is our thing. This is why we're doing what we're doing to try to get some explanation or reasoning. Because when somebody outside, when everybody that's going to look at this situation and look at what you did, if there's no reason for what you did. That's worse than if there's at least you had some reason for what you did. I mean, if they said, you know what, he doesn't know why he did it, he just took her life and put her out of her misery. There's no. But if you at least have some kind of reason, some kind of justification, some kind of explanation, you know, explanation of why you did what you did, let me tell you, man, not only for you, but for everybody else looking at this, at least have some kind of closure, some kind of like, you know, I wish I can, I can and, have and, something and, right now to and tell you. And to be you, honest man. with you, all the things that he's been giving you, saying like, you know, relationship problems or sex problems or wants to leave you, go to Peru. Okay, I would understand maybe that gave you justification. You got started drinking, you weren't thinking straight, you got enraged, you got pissed off, and you took it out on her. I mean, but by you saying... That's an explanation. By, One of those by, is an explanation. By saying, I got, we were drinking, 
Then I got enraged and took it on her, but I don't know why. That, I mean, that shows that you're cold-hearted, man. You look like an animal. You look like an animal in that sense. And I know that's not the case. See, you got to remember something, too. When we do an investigation like this, we, you know, we're talking to neighbors. We're not going to... You live in an apartment complex, mm -hmm. okay? Your neighbors are right there. The walls are thin, okay? So they hear what sounds like construction going on in the apartment next door because you're breaking shit for hours. And they hear a male voice screaming for hours. But they don't hear any female voice. Because I was, I was trying, I was... For hours before 911 was called. Before 911 was called? Yes. Around 1 o'clock in the morning. 911 was called sometime around 3.30. Somewhere rough there. Saying what? I don't know what you were saying. I have no idea. The, I remember when I screamed it was when I I know that she wasn't breathing. It's when I started scream. Okay, but okay. That's where that's where, it's, where where I screamed. But you didn't call nine one one right away. Uh, of course I did call nine one one. I called nine one one when she wasn't breathing. I called nine one one right away to separate. You know, the, two hours well, prior to you called nine one one, you were yelling and screaming and and breaking things in the house. A breaking thing is, is, is and, that's, that's right. true. Uh, and you're yelling thing. and screaming, but yet there's no female voice yelling and screaming. Do you understand what we're trying to say? Maria wasn't yelling and screaming because Maria couldn't scream. Because either A, she was passed out, or she was dead already. No, she wasn't dead, man. She was like this when I called that one. So for two hours, roughly two and a half hours, what were you doing besides breaking up your apartment? I think you were breaking up the apartment because you realized two, that for two and a half hours she was dead. And you panicked. Panicked when you realized it. Started breaking shit, not knowing what to do. You took it too far. Took it too far. Okay? This is what I think. And then eventually you called 911. We want you to just explain to us why, okay? Why? That's what we're trying to explain to you, that without the why, without the why this happened, without the explanation as to what happened, it looks like you're some cold-blooded, sadistic killer. Like, you just... I'm not. I know that. I know that. So does he. And I mean that when I say that. I know you're not a, a sadistic killer, okay? But something set you off. Something made you so angry that this happened. Okay? Ripping out your girlfriend's insides physically and then being on the floor in the closet is not rough sex. We've gotten past that part. Okay? What caused you to become so violent? Alcohol. And, and what? And what? Not just the alcohol. What else? Something else, man. I, really, well, I wasn't under my mind. The alcohol was over me. I, yeah, but you already told us several times that you can handle your alcohol and have sex when you have alcohol. Yeah. But I told you that last night, we both get really, really, really drunk. And I believe that. I believe that. But at yes. some point in time, you were up, you were in a rage, you were destroying the apartment for at least an hour and a half to two hours prior to calling the ni call 911. It's not you're like you're laying on the couch, pass out, drunk. You're up. Things are going on. So the holy that you were so drunk that you don't know what was going on is, I don't believe. It's because, you know what, you know what? if you're so drunk and not knowing what's going on, you're laying on the ground sleeping. There's not, there's not explanation for me to, to, to kill my girl, man. Is there, I didn't I, okay. mean to kill her. Understand. We understand, understand that. that. I we're, we, we're not saying that you did. Know. Did you hear what he just said? Did you hear what he just said? What? Listen. We understand that you didn't mean to kill your girl. But whatever came over you, the rage that came over you, caused you to do actions that caused her death. Unfortunately, it's an accident. It caused whatever happened to her was you had no control over. I mean, it just, you were in a rage, you were drinking, Things went on, and she ended up losing her life for that. We're not saying that you intended to kill her. We're not saying that you went in there 
last night went to Chili's, got some tequila, and said, you know what, tonight I'm going to kill her. Oh, but one, one thing led to the other, and it got worse. You know, you ended up doing what you did. And you're not going to get me to believe that you guys have a very normal, very tame sex life where the, the kinkiest or craziest thing you've done is a 69. Mm, right. And then all of a sudden, you're she wants you to shove a beer bottle inside of her pussy. That's what she was telling me, man. And she wants, it, and she wants you to shove your fist in there, your hand in there. That's what she was telling me, Fidel, come on. I don't believe that. Okay? I just don't believe that. Because you know what? I'm older than you. He's older than you. Mm -hmm. We're both men. Okay? As are you. These things are gradual. Okay? You take steps. Oh, we do a little bit of this. You maybe try this. Try some of this. I don't like that, so we won't do that anymore. Let's try this. Let's try this. There's no way, <clears throat> before last night, had you ever put anything else inside of her besides your... No. no. Your penis and what else? Maybe a couple fingers? Not even fingers. So you expect us to believe that from just your penis to a beer bottle and then your fist... No way. Fidel, listen, now you're making yourself out to sound, because it just doesn't make sense. And anyone that hears that is going to go, no way. You don't go from a penis to a beer bottle to your whole fist and up to your elbow. That just doesn't happen. Without some type of reason. Exactly. And that happened because you got so angry, okay? And that's what we want you to explain to us. Paint the picture for us of what happened so you look like a human being that just snapped, okay? Instead of some sadistic monster who said, you know what? Fuck this bitch. I'm just going to rip her guts out. I don't think you're that person. Either does he. But you have to explain to us so we can explain to other people. Listen, he had no he didn't mean to do this. He really didn't. They got into an argument, they got into a fight, and 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 you know, with the alcohol, one thing happened, you know, but you have to explain that to us. The very time the, the crime scene, the, the they they shake the she had something with the, the tequila caused something to her too. The tequila? Well yeah. cause her to be intoxicated. Absolutely. Intoxicated and something to, because she wasn't breathing. She wasn't breathing, I understand that. She wasn't breathing because she was bleeding, she bled out. Because of what was ripped out from her insides. That's why she wasn't breathing. I don't know, man. She go out of my hands. Out of my hands. Listen, listen. Look at well, me. The only thing I'm thinking is, her is dead. My kids are never gonna see them again. That's, uh, that's everything I think of right now, man. But my job, but I you was fighting for the job forever. Listen to me. Everything is going to listen, right now. Listen, listen. If you explain to us, give us the reason, okay, of why this happened. You're human, mm -hmm. okay? As am I. As is he. Make yourself out to be the human being that you are. By doing that, you have to give an explanation as to why this happened. Do you understand what we, that when I say that? You have to, to explain why these things happen, to explain why Maria's dead. Listen, I'd like to be able to, to stand up on your behalf and say, listen, he was extremely remorseful. He had no intentions for this to happen, okay? He didn't mean to do this. But unfortunately, this is why it happened. He had too much to drink, and he had an, he had an argument he, he, in between that and the drinking and everything else, X, Y, and Z, whatever it may have been. But you have to explain that so we can explain it to other people to make you... He's human. It happens. Okay? You didn't intend to kill her. 
Of course not. Right. So explain to us what took place that led up to it. You know. You don't want to remember. But I know you do remember. And it takes a man, a true man, to admit, okay, I fucked up, man. I made a mistake. I had no intention to killing her. I had no intention to doing it. But this is what happened. It takes a man to do that. It takes more of a man to admit when he's wrong than it takes a man to cry. Be that man. Be that person. Because that's who you are. She was telling me she she going to Peru. She was she needed to go to Peru because she she was missing her mother, and you know, and I'm not gonna be able to use the car to go to work, and you know, then she just start screaming at me and all that. I get pissed and start punching the shit. I really don't remember what I. Points the shit. You just tell me. I know I get peace because of that. Then, then after that, I don't know how how we end them up in the cross or whatever. I know we made peace, but when we were doing uh, making love, she told me something that I really don't. It just she she changed my name. She called me the the other fucking name of the other guy. And then she said it twice. And she was wrong. And she was confusing me with him. I, I didn't want to kill her. I know I killed her. That's whatever I did with her was the reason. But she was asking me about the bottle. And she was asking me about the hand too. And maybe things go a little bit far because, you know, once she, she's confusing me with the other one and she told me to do stuff with her that I've never done before, I think that she might think that's, a, that's the other stuff that she does with the other one before. Things go out of hands. I never, you know, never mean to kill her. I don't think you did. Never mean to kill her, man. Walk us through what happened. That's what that's what happened. Then we were in the closet. As far as I remember, is you know I don't remember taking nothing in my hand out of from her. Maybe I injured her. Of course I did. Did at any point she tell you it hurts? Stop. Never. That's that's one of the stuff. That never. But okay. If she were telling me that I was screaming or something, somebody would hear it. So she was, me. was she passed out? No, she wasn't passed out. She was calling me the other dude name. Where was that at? Was that in, in the closet? In the closet. This is where we start over there. Okay. Explain to us. Tell us what happened. Then we were fucking, and she was telling me the other dude name. What name was she calling you? Uh, Norbert. Norbert. Is that her ex-husband? Yeah. Okay. So, you know. So what did you do at that point? At that point, I get mad. I get really, really mad. And I can't believe it. It's same, it she, when she told me about the go to Peru or whatever, it's when I start breaking the stuff. Uh, the wall and the, the, the glass and everything. And then the other point is when she, she was confusing me with him, you know, calling me him, his name. And they asked me to do stuff with her that I never done before with her. You know, it makes me feel bad, very bad. I mean, like, like you feel like he was, like you were not adequate enough, like you couldn't satisfy her. Uh, I'm asking you. No, that I'm always satisfied. <coughs> she was, she was okay with me, but I don't know just what happened with her. She, she gets so drunk, I don't know why she was confusing me and telling me Robert and besides Fidel. Uh, but I never meant to kill her, man. I really don't. I, I, I believe you. You know, I believe you. I forgive her everything, whatever she told me, whatever she, you know. What did you What did you put inside of her besides the bottle and your fist? I don't remember to put nothing. That thing with the hair. You put, you put that in there. Yeah. You did. Yeah, I did. 
Okay, what else? I don't remember to put nothing else, man. Like, like, like I'm telling you. Like, the thing that you put up for for the hair. Do you remember what it looks like? And I think this. Well, it's the only one she have. I think is a red one or with with the with the black things all around. Mm -hmm. Red or pink. I really don't don't remember. When you put it, when you put it inside of her, was it plugged into the wall? No, of course not. I, I'm asking. I don't know. Show me, show us what you were doing when you were putting it, when you put it inside of her. We're just doing like this. Just doing like this. <coughs> we dying with my hands too. I'm sorry. With the bottom, we dying. We are, we are everything just like this. Man, I, I so to, she was to at her life, man. But listen, in the closet, you're doing that. You're putting the things inside of her. She goes unconscious? No, man. Because she's, she's, she's bleeding a lot of blood. I know, she was bleeding. I know she was bleeding. But she she, she was, she, to be honest, she didn't walk to the bathroom, but she was like, okay. you know. But I know she didn't walk to the bathroom, like you no, said. She didn't walk to the bathroom, but she was like, you know, like, like she was a... She was crawling? A, exactly. But she wasn't crying or nothing. It she was <clears> just... She was like, she couldn't stand up. I mean, well, she couldn't stand up because, because of the injuries. Plus, a little, probably a little bit of the alcohol, a combination a of a little bit, no, a lot of a alcohol. Lot. So, the part about her saying I gotta throw up—that's not true. No, that is true. That is true. She went into the bathroom like that, <coughs> and she told me about the throwing up to get out of the bathroom. She was talking. She was conscious. Okay. And then I went to smoke a cigarette and I go back. I see her like, like this, you wanna call 911. I really, the screams and all that, I, I <clears> know <throat> I have to, you have to be me. But, but I call 911 when when I saw her that she was like, like this. But that, this call the whole incident inside the closet when she's calling you by a different name and they get you very upset and you're breaking things, that that occurs for over a period, uh, quite a while. Oh, what? That's over a, quite a while, a, a long period of time, correct? Uh, yeah. Yes, like how long? Like an hour? An hour and a half? Really, really don't, don't remember, man. Like, I mean, it wasn't like a two-minute thing. It was... From from when, when I started breaking stuff, uh, when when I finished breaking stuff or whatever, from that time until <coughs> I called 911. <coughs> were you upset because of not only her calling you a name and or doing what you did, you started breaking stuff because you're just frustrated, upset, angry. Yeah, but I didn't. I never. I never hit her. I never. I know you're I breaking your the walls and stuff like that. She's in the closet at that time. I, I don't. She maybe she was. Okay, she's in the closet. So she's in the closet. And you left her there to go, and you were breaking stuff? I'm asking, I don't know how. Okay, I don't, do I really don't remember when I break the stuff. I mean, did you go back in the closet after breaking the stuff and and, and, and put things inside of her? Yeah, 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 but, but the things inside of her, she was she was telling me, all right, she was she was telling me to do that shit, and I knew it. She, first, she called me the names. Then when I came in and started breaking the stuff. Then when I go back, she told me to do the stuff. Then I get mad again, you know, because you took it a little uh, maybe too much, too yeah, man. too extreme. Yeah, man. I was drunk, very, very drunk. I know you're frustrated. You're drunk. You're frustrated. You're yeah, upset. I didn't well, mean you're to angry. kill her, man. I, I really you don't took mean it. to kill her. We man. understand that. We understand that. My love, man. We but understand that. But she pissed you off because she called you another man's name. I can tell you right now. If I'm having sex with my wife and she calls out another man's name, I'm gonna get pissed off. Okay, it's human nature, dude. Don't, don't, don't. It. This, this is not human, man. I just took her life. I don't mean to, but I did. That's because you got enraged. No, because I was wrong. If I was sober, maybe I understand. Maybe I just left the apartment, but I was wrong. You're, you're not a bad person, though. 
you're a better person for talking about it. Absolutely. I'm not even gonna be able to see her, man. Like, I guess I'm going to jail right now. Are you sorry for what you did? Huh? Are you sorry for what you did? If I'm sorry? Yeah. Of course, man. What do you think? What do you think? If I could go back, it's time, man. I prefer to die, man. I prefer to die first. Why were you not telling us the truth at the beginning? I'm screwed, man. I'm never gonna, gonna see her again. I'm never gonna see my kids. And in the bathroom, the whole situation in the bathroom, is that exactly how it happened? Yeah. I put water on her face, you know, I washed my hands in the, in the sink. Mm -hmm. Did you wash anything? Did you have any other clothing on? What were you wearing? I was wearing this shirt with a black shirt. With a black shirt? Where's your black shirt? I don't know. Oh, it does somewhere. You took it off? I think so, yeah. You took it off before you washed your arms? Wash your hands? I don't know. I forget don't remember that. You were wearing it during the incident, though? During the time that you were having sex with her, were you wearing a shirt? Did you take it off before you called 911 no, or after I you think, called 911? No, I think uh, I took the shirt off when, when we go to the house and we were drinking. I think so. I'm not, I'm not sure, you know. I really don't want to go I'm just more concerned of what you what you were wearing, what you did with the stuff after the bathroom. No, which is just, just wearing this, I guess. What was she wearing? Maria? Yeah. Maria was just like just she had some clothes. Then we we're gonna make love to to get out. I mean that like, normal. But I don't remember really exactly right now what you what you was wearing. Besides the flat iron in the bottle, there's other things in that house. What else was put inside of it? And if I tell you now, I, I, I lie because I really I remember pretty 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 much the bottle, the thing for the head in, in my hand. But I, if I use something else, I really don't don't know. I really don't know. I mean, like. This, I've been trying to recover in my mind, everything, everything, everything. I'm, I'm trying to be honest. Well, you, you're, you're being honest. You're you know, starting to be honest, but there's still some things that we need to cl clear up. I mean, I know you were scared. You're afraid of what people are going to think, afraid of what's going to happen to you I don't mean to before, so you, you weren't telling the truth at the beginning. Right? I was telling half of and it's truth. important that you're completely honest now and, and, and honest finish now. with the truth. Okay, because you don't want to you don't want to start one way and then look at you know no, no. like a bad person. You're not a bad person, right? You made a mistake. This is something that you you know what you're gonna have to live with the rest of your life. Okay, mm -hmm. and you know the, you know the, the way to deal with that is to get it off your chest and to be honest with everything. Okay? I'm being honest, man. I'm not gonna forget. It, man. I mean, she she was uh, you know a special person in your life. You guys just had a it just things didn't work out, you know. It's something that bothers me right now, man. I really want to ask you because I know I'm going to jail, but like, how many times do you think it's gonna be this? What do you want to ask her? No, to who? What did you say? You want to ask her something? No, to you. Oh. Like, I know I'm going to jail. Mm -hmm. I have two keys and. You know, and everything. How many years do you think this is gonna cost me? I don't know. I can't tell you that. I, I have no idea. 
what I can tell you is that if you're honest and you're, you, you are truthful about everything that happened that night, that it will, that it is going to help you, okay? Because you're going to make, make yourself out to be a better person than what is portrayed in that scene, okay? Like I said, anybody that walks into that scene and sees all this blood and what, what, ha what was going on here, if they have no reason or explanation for why, why it was done, I mean, look, if you, you know, she did things and messed with your mind that caused you to snap, you know? I didn't, I didn't want to kill her, man. I didn't yeah. try to kill her. I just, I just, just played a role. It just happened. When she, did she crawl out of the closet or did you bring her, help her get out of the closet? No, 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 she just went like this, the bathroom. In the bathroom, the Before you said that you, you put your, um, and inside her in the bathroom. In the bathroom. You did it again inside there? Uh-huh. Okay. Anything else inside of her in the bathroom? No, man. Just, just I don't try. know if I, if I bring the bottle and the thing with me, or if I use it in the closet. I know I use it, but, mm -hmm. you know? I don't remember if it's nothing else. I don't, I don't you know? What do you think about all, uh, what did you think about all the blood? What was going through your mind? So scared, man. Scared. Very scared. You want water in there? No, yeah, please. What, bottle of water? Yeah, please. Okay. <clears throat>
we just had the crime scene go over to the uh, finish up the scene and I got some things I want to show you that maybe you can help clarify. Okay? okay. Some pictures from the scene. Where where is this area? There's um, the room. The, this is the closet. Mm -hmm. It's a bedroom. That's a dresser. Uh -huh. Okay. Is, where's the bed in relation to the closet? If the closet, if this is the closet in here, where's the bed in this room? Where would the bed be? The bed is right here. Okay. All right. These items on the ground. This is the uh, flat yeah. iron. Yeah. Was that used? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What other items on the ground were used? Were put inside of her vagina? The bottom. That blue, blue yeah, room bottle? Blue room bottle. Okay. Then, then. I think there's some other photo. I'm going to show you some more images. Yeah, sure. All right, so this is a better angle. Actually, let's do this. Yeah, it's this way. I'm sorry. This is. So it's the closet. This is outside the closet. See this? This computer? Uh huh. That's this. Yeah. Okay, you got. You understand that? Yeah. Whose computer is that? I mean, we both uh, we both use it. You do. Yeah. Okay. Um, what about some of these items? There's a lot on the ground. I don't know what's this. No, no, it's just these bottle. What about this? This is a looks to be like a tripod for a camera. Yeah, this is for a camera. Did you I, did I, you use I, that? I don't think so. I don't, I don't remember to use that. I know at the bottom of this for sure. Okay. That's inside the closet. That's inside. Yeah, inside the closet. Do you see the amount of blood that's there? Yeah, man. And you see this? Yeah, I'm just one. You know what that is? Yeah, a piece of thing from inside. Piece of what? From inside of her? Yeah. Same closet, different view. All the blood, tissue, pieces of her, pieces of her insides, blood on the wall. There's a handprints. Blood on handprints, the handprints, handprints. Then see that right there? What's mm -hmm. underneath that? What's covering, what's that covering right there? I don't know what it is. Okay, what not is what it? is that, what's underneath it? Because that was put there. You put that there. I don't know, what, what is in it? What's in it? How the fuck me? That's her insides. Those are her intestines. So I know you can sit here and you can say you don't remember and this and that. Let me tell you, you're not going to forget that. And the fact that you put something over that, you're not being completely honest with us. That came out of her, was in the closet, you saw it, you covered it, and then you, 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 you flipped out. 
the new thing is that I would just call it and don't you think of no, no, listen, throw listen, it away or listen. I'll cover everything else. Look at this seam right here, okay? Mm -hmm. That's all removed and lifted, and that's what's underneath, and that's where she was. That's not falling out of her. Did you use this hook? There's a coat hanger hook right there. See that right here? That's the hook of a coat hanger. No, no, I didn't use that. So you I did all that, all that was taken out with your hands? Yeah. I didn't use that. I know it's a so hook over here. Okay. What well, did, so this, what? Was in, this was put in, but everything that you see on the ground, all this, this tissue that came out by you pulling with your hands. Yeah. You remember pulling it out? And I was so fucking wrong and so mad, man. I really don't. Hold on, hold on. I just asked you. He just asked you a question. Said yes. And you said yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I take him out. So mm -hmm. your hands in there, and you're pulling this stuff out of her. And you, what did you do with it when you pulled it out? I don't know. It just stuff come out, and I lay it on the floor, man. So you remember pulling it out? Yeah, 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 I know, it's something. She didn't get up and walk to the bathroom after that. Did you drag her to the bathroom? I don't know if I dragged her, man, I really don't know if it... Listen, she didn't get up and go to the bathroom. You... This wasn't a voluntary thing. She didn't get up and walk after that happened. She had her insides ripped out of her. Literally ripped out of her. What happened in there, man? I don't know, man. Fucking... I don't mean to know this shit, man. I was fucking so drunk, man. I mean, like, think go out of him, man. I really don't mean to do that, man. I really don't mean. I, I, I never kill nothing in my life, man. Especially hell, man. But you were enraged. This is that's rage. That's not drunk. That's rage. That's anger. A what? <clears throat> what he's saying is. For you to do something like this, you're, that, that takes a lot of anger to do something like this, to reach up inside someone's body and pull this out. And the fact that you're saying that she wanted this is disturbing. No, she didn't want these. No, and she didn't want that. Of course not. Doing, man. That's the only thing I could tell you, man. I don't know what I was doing. It doesn't start. I just know what for me to stop. When you started, you couldn't stop. At that moment, there wasn't thinking anything. My mind was just blank. How long did this go on in the closet for? I swear I don't know, man. I don't. How did she get from the closet to the bathroom? Don't lie. No, I'm not lying. I'm just... I'm just... I help her. I help her go to the bathroom. and she, she gonna move. That's, that's for sure. She, she gonna move. She gonna help her. She couldn't move. You took her to the bathroom? Yeah. You carry her? I don't remember if I... You drag her? If I, if I, I don't remember. Was she conscious at this point? Yeah, she was with the eyes open. I mean, like, oh. she was like... Just because her know? eyes are open doesn't mean anything. You see this in here? Uh -huh. That's all the blood I, that's in her body, is in that closet. I know. You don't, you don't live through that. I know, man. What was she saying? Did she say anything? When would that happen? She didn't say anything. I mean, like, she, she didn't scream, nothing. Nothing. 
Why do you think that is? Oh. Why do you think she didn't scream or say anything? That man is just passed out. She was unconscious? Passed out from alcohol? Or passed out or from... Or unconscious loss of blood. Well, losing oh, so much blood. Do you see the amount of blood that's in here? Mm -hmm. I know, I know. I know, I know. It's she passed out because she lost so much blood. I know, I know, I know. Okay, and she didn't scream, according to what you're saying, mm -hmm. because she wasn't conscious. How did, did you, how did you end up in the closet? How did you guys end up there? Let's start from the beginning again, because there's obviously, let's, let's get this straight this time. You know what? For me, but you know this shit happens in the bathroom, not in the closet, and, and I would say everything is confused, man. Everything is confused to me right now because I know, I know, I'm, I wasn't, I wasn't on the mind. You know, my mind wasn't was blank. Well, mine wasn't wasn't blank because she called you. You know for a fact that she called you by someone else's name, which you told us upset you very much so. You felt disrespected. You yeah. felt that... Yeah. In that point, with the alcohol and that, and my mind get bent. And you so told us gosh. that you, you pulled, you, you put your arm inside of her. No. Uh -huh. But at the same time, you told us earlier that she said she wanted you to put her arm inside of her. Mm -hmm. That's not true. I know, man. That's not true. Okay. Just like she didn't want you to put the beer bottle inside of her, did she? She was talking about it, but it's not like I, she was asking me for me to do it. That, okay. that never happened. That never happened. That never happened. And what about the what about the the flat iron? No flat iron. This thing that you said you put inside of her. Yeah, I put it inside of her. Did she ask you to put that inside of her? No, man. She was some conscious, but I'll start do this already. She... At what point did she go unconscious? What point in this this incident? From the beginning, man. From the beginning. And where did it start? I don't remember if we started in the bathroom or the closet, but... We, we start here. In the closet? For sure. She was unconscious in the closet? At what point did she say the other guy's name then? She just said the other guy's name, like... I don't know if her, no if her. So she wasn't coherent, she was just mumbling? Yeah, I'm mumbling, like... You know, not like she cannot talk, but she said the name. And then at that point is when you started? Yeah, uh, start, you know, screaming. What did you do first? I don't know, I know, break all the things and, and throw everything. You broke all her things? No, not her things. I mean, I'm talking about Inchona in the house. Okay. You're talking about the sliding glass door? Mm -hmm. Are you talking about the... The whole, the whole, <coughs> the wall and, and all mm -hmm. that. I should do it in that moment. Like, like I said, I don't remember when I did it. I don't remember with what I break the door or whatever. Yeah. I know I did it. I know I did it. She's in the closet during that time? She's at, in yeah, the closet during so. that time? I don't think so. You go back in, what's the first thing that you put inside of her? The first thing was my dick. Okay. Well, she was passed out? Uh, she was like, like this. I mean, she, passed out. She, the... she didn't know you were having sex with her. Oh, yeah, yeah, she does. She does. She wasn't... You're saying she, she passed was, out. The blood, so the blood is not like, like this when we start. It's nothing, you know, okay. nothing like that. She, 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 was, she was not passed out. She was, you know, and then this one that... Start to get like little, you know, she start to get like a little like unconscious, you know. And I don't know, man. I turned myself into a fucking monster.
because she called her ex-husband's name? Huh? Because she called you her by her your, by her ex-husband's name? Yeah, I mean, my my mind blocked stuff. I mean, my mind just blocked everything I was doing. I didn't think it just threw straight up and when you but were, I didn't mean to kill her, man. I really don't. Listen, when I see that, you saying you didn't mean to kill her? I didn't mean to kill her, man. You pulled her insides out. You pulled her intestines out. I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. I was knowing what, what did I was you think doing, was gonna man. What did you think was gonna happen to her? Did she just get up and go make breakfast? I mean, at some point during mm. this, you knew there was a point of no return, right? That's why I took her to the bathroom and started putting water on her face and calling out one one man. But it was she was gone by then. No, she was breathing like like this, but. But what happened in here at that point when you get her to the bathroom? There's hey, what I put this here was so just was care, man. I really, I really you didn't don't want to. You didn't want to look at it, did you? Oh uh, man, <coughs> I really don't. How long was it till you called nine one one? From the point when you brought her in here and started covering all this stuff up, because I know it wasn't immediately. Well, I put her in the bathroom and then. Put water on her face and see like she can not breathe. Up, I call number one. I, I'm not really sure how long. You cleaned yourself up first. Um, I cleaned myself in the bathroom before you brought her in there, or after? Uh, after, after, because uh, I know I smoked a cigarette. I smoked a cigarette, man. I was so fucking nervous, man. Man, I didn't, I wasn't thinking, man, I wasn't thinking. And then at what time did you go in and start throwing the stuff over top of that? Huh? When did you start putting the stuff over top of that? When it happens, I guess. Well, you had to get her out of there first. Is it after you took her out of the closet? The what? You removed her from the closet, Uh then you went back and put this stuff over top. You covered all this up. You covered all that up. When was that? This was going something too? Yeah, this this is here, and then this is moved, and this is all underneath. It does. Man, what the fuck? What it, it looks like you, you got you started to freak out a little bit and said I you started covering that stuff up and trying to figure out what you were gonna do. No, I mean, I mean I, it, I'm really trying to cover it up or whatever, I just I covered everything up and even this part right here. I mean I don't know, I put that over there for for not to see or something, man. What you everything you pulled out from inside of her, you pulled it out through her vagina. I did you really put don't remember. Did you put anything in her anus? Yeah, I think so. I really don't. Do, you, you think know. so? Or you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I do. I do. So you? Th- what do you think you put in her anus? I don't know. My hand, the the thing, everything, man. So you you shoved your hand up her vagina and up her her anus. Yeah, yeah. Anything else? No. But she didn't want this. I know. She never asked for that. She didn't ask for the beer bottle. She didn't ask for the hand, the the the, the flat iron. She didn't ask for your fist. Did you? No, Let's be she honest. Done. She, done. She, she didn't ask for it. She didn't ask for it. Did you put anything in, in her anus besides your hand? Besides your arm? No. Nothing else, man. Did you put your hand inside her, up up in her anus before or after you pulled this? I mean, was it, I mean, what did you do first? Like I said, I believe, you know, 
but I know it's a big old dog from her body. Mm. You were angry. Because she called you by her ex-husband's name? Probably a little more than that. She was going to leave you, go to Peru? Yeah, that, but that, that was like talking earlier. Yeah, but it was a build-up of some things. Maybe, yeah. Maybe everything gets together. And did she did, sit? Did she fight? Huh? Did she fight at all? Did she try to fight you off or try to resist you at all? Nothing, man. I didn't force her, but, you know. Well, she did. What I'm saying is that no, there was no time when you were inserting things inside of her that she was conscious enough to try to get you away. No, she was. She wasn't doing nothing. She was just like standing like that, just laying there. She don't, don't move, not tell me nothing. Well, no she time. couldn't tell you. I, I mean, I know. If she, if she can feel, if she was conscious and she felt what was going on, she would have told you. You know, if you're pulling out your insides, you're gonna and you know what's going on. You're gonna scream. <clears throat> did you did you drag her? Did you bring her to the closet? No, she was. I don't remember how how we start to. You know, I mean, she passed out at some point. Was it on the bed? Was it in the was it in the living room, kitchen area? You know, the little dining area. There's clothing up there. There's underwear and stuff up there. Is that where you guys started? Underwear. Yeah. Then we went to, I don't know why we went to the closet and, man. <coughs> what are you thinking? <clears throat> this is nobody else's fault, this is my fault. As long as you accept that, because initially you try to make, put her to blame. You know? Earlier you were telling her she was to blame for you doing what you did here. She might have upset you, but she never asked for any of this to go on. But you know what? The the bigger bottle that she did ask for, and well, you, I didn't want to do it. Well, you might have talked about it prior. Yeah. But during this this time in the closet. No, she didn't ask for it. Okay. <clears throat> that you can think of? Anything else that was used? I don't think so. What were you planning on doing? Me? Yeah. Um, when you realized that she was not going to make it, what was your plan? <clears throat> Stay there and face whatever happened. Because I really don't mean to do that, man. I did it. Yeah. And it's wrong. But I didn't want to kill her, man. I was playing. My mind was playing. I mean, like, I never did something like that sober. Yeah. At any point, <clears throat> I know you said she was heavily intoxicated. What was that? She was drinking. She was drunk. Was there ever a time she said, stop, stop doing this? Or was she not able to speak? No, she never, she never told me to stop. Okay. Uh, never. Is because she was... Because of she, for why? Why for couldn't she reason? tell you? Why didn't she tell you to stop? But, but I don't know. She was, she was like this. But she never told me to stop or, or something like that. So... You know, why do you think she couldn't tell you to stop? I don't know. 
What? Why? What do you think? I see us passed out then. I said she wouldn't be able to talk, but she just said two names. Uh, How many times did she say her ex-husband's name? Two times. Two times. Mm. What about the clothes again? Let's go back over. What did you What did you do with your clothes? You clean yourself up. Did you put stuff in the closet? No, I'm not supposed to show it. I have them. This is a, it's a black shirt. I don't know how a black shirt used to be. When you take your when you take your clothes off, when you take your shirt off, is it before or after the incident? Before or after you you attack her? When you when, before or, or after when before. you go into the bathroom and you're cleaning yourself up, are you wearing a shirt? Down the room. Did you did you use your shirt to wipe off some of the blood? She doesn't have any blood on her body. She don't have blood on her body, but well, why? I don't know. I did, I put water on her face. And she was doing no breathing and put water on the face. Okay. Not uh, made to the body a little bit, but you know. So you you washed her face and her body? No, I don't. I don't wash her, her face. I just put water, water on her. Just you know, I don't touch the face. The face I touch it like baby, baby to wake up. Yeah. But I just put water. On her. You thought water was gonna wake her up? I don't know what to do at the moment, man. Yeah. This. Okay. This. Huh? This is not survival. Nothing that you could have done was going to help her. I don't know why I did that, man. I don't know why I did that. I was fucking black, man. I really don't know what I did that. Is there something else, some other argument besides her calling you or her ex-husband's name? No, not that I remember. Just, just stop. Really, her 
to pride or to manhood. I know you say that, but you ripped out her insides. You ripped out her guts. Huh? You ripped out her guts. <clears throat> too, right? Did you have both hands inside of her at the same time? No. Uh, I'm going to use this hand. And this one. And she, I, it happened in the closet as we can see. And that's what you said earlier. What, what, was she on her stomach? Was she on her back? Was she, how, what, what position was she in? Like a doggy position. Okay, but if, if she's not conscious, she's not going to be able to be on her knees. Uh, she was like doggy position, like, you know, like, like the, the head laid down on the floor, you know, we, without using these two hands. Okay, so her face was on the floor? Uh huh. Okay, and, and what did you do with that? Well, how, tell me what, how you did it. What did you do? Because if she's, if she's not conscious, it was she was laid down on the, the, the knees, but like 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 me. Uh, so she her. okay. So are you telling me she passed out on her knees? Yeah. Uh -huh. With her face down on the ground, a head uh -huh. on the ground. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Like, like that's how come. That's so her, so her, if I'm if I'm understanding you correctly, her she's on her knees. Is her her ass like kind of up in the air? Uh, kind of, kind of like that. Cause she's on her knees. Yeah. <clears throat> What were you saying when this was happening? I wasn't saying anything. Were you nothing? You weren't saying anything to her? Just quiet. <clears throat> I mean, you were you were you were obviously enraged. You were angry. Were you calling her any names? Were you calling her a no. fucking bitch? Were you no. calling nothing? Nothing. Yeah, but just. Quiet, and that's it. I didn't call her anything. Or, you know. Show me, do me a favor. Show me, show me, show me how she was. Show me what position. Like, like, like. Go ahead, show like, me. Like doggy style, like. Okay. You know, like she, she was like like these on the knees and with the. With, okay. You know, with the hand. Just, just show me. I want to see what you're talking about, so I have an right, understanding. Just, just like like these, like that. Like that. Okay. And you were, uh, obviously, I won't say, you were obviously, you were behind her? Oh, yeah. Listen, man, do you think it's possible in a few minutes for me to get a cigarette? Yeah. Yeah. You want a cigarette now? Yeah, man, please.
You want more water? No, I'm fine. You sure? Underneath your shorts, do you have underwear? No. Just your shorts on? You have your cigarettes? Yeah. Let me see. Alright, we're gonna take a few more pictures. <coughs> Is there a door stopper? No. No. Alright. Do you want me to just stand up against there again? The top of your feet. Well, like that? Yeah. From those shoes. From your shoes? No. That wasn't from anything that was going on? No. That was uh, from my shoes. Okay. Alright. Right. Let's go ahead and do your hands again. We're just going to get over here. We're going to take pictures on the bottom of your feet. Okay. Turn around, <laughs> face the wall, and just lift your foot up.
them just like that. <clears throat> How much blood did you have on you? Did you have a lot of blood on you? Yeah. Yeah. How about the rest of your body? I don't remember having blood at all in the whole rest of the body. Or yeah. Okay, spin the face that way. No, turn, turn, turn the face, face, face that wall. wall. This wall? Yeah, yeah. Just, just, just like that. Swab that blood and then do his. Okay. Alright. You got swabs with you, Michelle? She's got, you got them with you, right? What? Swabs. Yeah, she's got them with you. Okay. Alright. Put stuff on your arms. I don't finish the tool. Uh, removal. Oh, you got a tattoo removed? Mm -hmm. Okay. Nothing on your arms? Then nothing that was from, from last night? No. Uh, okay. Can you, I'm just going to take that one with the scale. Can you yeah. The Face that way. Did you want inches or centimeters? No, oh, centimeters. Get it? Yeah. <coughs> This is a swab just inside your cheeks, all right?
you to do. Okay? I need you to put take off your clothes and put your clothes in here. Okay? And I need you to put this suit on. Okay? Go ahead and see alright? I just want to cover a few things to you. I've been, uh, I know we haven't met, I'm Sergeant Visners. Okay, come back. Come right back here. <coughs> I know we haven't formally met, but I've been in periodic contact with you throughout the morning, correct? When you went out for your cigarette breaks? Uh-huh. Okay. And I actually made contact with you when you were actually first came into the building, and I told you that you were free to leave. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, you got here today. You were driven here in a police uh, police car, but you weren't restrained in any way, were you? No, I wasn't. Okay. And you were you were you voluntarily came to the police department? Yes. Okay. And um, nobody, everybody's treated you decently here. Yeah. You were offered an opportunity to eat. Yeah opportunity to use the bathroom, you smoked several cigarettes, mm -hmm. you actually took a nap for a little while, correct? Yeah. Okay, so you, nobody has threatened you, coerced you? No. Okay, you've been treated fairly? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I, I just wanted to clarify those things with you. Okay. I just want to clarify, when he said restrained, you were never handcuffed in any way, were you, were you no. ever, were handcuffs no. ever placed on you? No. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, anything else? I appreciate you being honest. You did the right thing. So. Um. Give me one second. If you want to eat, you can still eat that. You want more water? Yeah, please. Okay, I'll bring you another one. Sit down. All right. Did you eat? Get, uh, a little bit? A little bit. Okay. It's cold, huh? Um, you want me to heat it up for you? No, thanks. Man. You sure? So, I'm going to take these. Take those out. Actually, let's stop this. Um, I'm here to formally let you know that you are going to be arrested for the death of Maria. Okay? Mm -hmm. Um. What happens at this point, we'll, we'll let you know. I mean, obviously, we have some things that we're still doing at the scene and some more we have to take care of, but um, at this point, you will be booked and charged and taken to uh, Broward County Jail. Broward County Jail? Broward County Jail. Okay, so you'll be able to make your phone call when you get down there. Man, I need to make the phone call right now. Man. Okay, well, unfortunately, at this point, we're not going to be allowed. We, we can't let you make a phone call, but... Um, but you do you get, get to make a phone you call. Do, get, when you get down there, you'll be able to make a phone call. Okay. We'll still, live. if you need any food, drink, bathroom, anything you need, still let us know. We will provide that for you. I just need the cigarette. You want a cigarette? You want to smoke a cigarette? Mm -hmm. Okay. Give us one minute. Bring your foot up for me. Put your left foot forward. Yes. Bro, can you tell, like, just, uh, somebody can go be sitting or Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Um, and uh, let us finish up some of the paperwork and stuff, and then we can allow you to uh, possibly smoke a cigarette. Use the restroom, whatever, okay? Okay. 
Gonna take a few measurements from you, okay? Mm -hmm. What um? How long do you live in Broward County? Um, Before you moved to Sunrise, you were in Hollywood, or yeah. in Hialeah? Hollywood. I was uh, I was Hollywood, then Hialeah, then Sunrise. Yeah, how long did you live in Hollywood? Um, about, about six months. Six months. Five, six months. What, what about where were you before Hollywood? What was that? Where were you living before Hollywood? Before Hollywood, I was uh, Hialeah. Okay, so Hialeah, Hollywood for about six months, mm -hmm. and then back to Hialeah, mm -hmm. and now to Sunrise. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's what I need you to do. Make a fist, okay, and... Yeah. Okay, make a fist, and put my hand, put his arm on the table. Yeah, just... Like Lay it next to the... Here, put the tape measure this way now. Oh, there you go, okay. Do the same thing with the other arm. Try to get the corner of your... There you go. Rich White, one coming up to relieve you. Go back to your mm -hmm. Nope. Yeah, you can pull them down if you want. You can pull them down. Um, and you work, where do you work again? Uh, um, 495 truck stop. Florida 595 truck stop. Okay, how long have you worked there? Uh, about a month. About a month, and you're a mechanic? Mm-hmm. Okay, how much do you weigh? Um, about 200. About 200? 200, 210. Okay, thank you. You good? You want anything else? You want more water? I just want the cigarette, man. Okay, give me a few minutes, I'll get you a cigarette, okay? All right. All right.
get your, your key. Fidel, this is Officer Locash. <coughs> How you doing? Hey. That's what you come on this side, Dave. Either stick your left through, leg straight through. Turn your leg this way. Hold up, hold up. Mm -hmm. Oh, whatever happened with that? 